and welcome to Garblag Games. We're playing Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition Planescape, and this is The Dark of the Cage. Hello, and welcome back to episode 3 of The Dark of the Cage. I'm Pete, the Dungeon Master, and in a moment we'll go around and everyone will say who they are and who they're playing. Uh, but before we do, please don't forget to check out all our social media links below. Also, check out our Discord. Uh, we have a growing number of people coming on there to talk about role-playing, gaming, maps, and all kinds of things. Um, also, check out our Patreon. Everyone who supports us helps to make it a bit better for everybody else, from all the kit and equipment that we have, to the games, the dice, all, out, all those kinds of things. We're giving away loads of free stuff. I've just... Yes, your dice. Uh, I have just... Uh, I've just released for our patrons a free RPG, uh, which I will release on the 25th of June to the public. And this is like a four-page dark fantasy uh, role-playing game called Grimdark. Uh, and Mark's just done me a theme tune for it, which is pretty cool. Uh, yes, so that's cool. 10% uh, of our Patreon funds go to Diabetes UK. So if you support us, you also support a very worthwhile charity, something that's very close to our hearts. So please go and check that out. There's a link for that below. Um, what else have we got? We've got other shows. We've got... Loads of stuff. Okay. We've got Scion. Dark Heresy. On Dark the Edge Heresy of the Emperor's the... Light. Star Trek. Star Trek Morpheus. And other stuff. And, and Batcat Flint and Steel yes. and Mages and Monsters. Sorry, sorry what? Sorry, Flint and Steel! There you go. Um, and very soon we're going to be do doing. It, if you make him do it every time, right? Yeah, you complain about me shouting it, and then you, you ask, it, you, you basically. Do it. You know, well, I can't shout it because I'm you not basically you. goad me into doing it. It's very easy. You are a performing monkey. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, that's why I've got a YouTube channel. Anyway. <laughs> uh, and very soon, monkey. very soon, we're going to be doing four competitions at the same time. What? Where, based on each of our shows, we will give uh, out a special prize. I think there's two on the shelf over there. And there's two in that box over there. Oh. Yeah, just there. You see those? Yeah, those things. Dings. Yeah, those things. Here we go. Ding. So we have... A, uh, uh, another Salute special miniature. Hey. We have a Starside <laughs> promo model, which is a bit hard to see there. The Necromancer. Which is really cool. Oh, it's, a, it's a bit of a sci-fi Necromancer. Room. We've got the Gates of Antares card game. Many, many dices. Yes, and dice. And oh, cool. the that one's Shadow game. Games, which is a... Based on Guild Ball. Based on Guild Ball, a uh, card game based on Guild dice Ball. Dice game. A dice game, sorry. Like Gates of Antares dice. dice game. Can I just say that Guild Ball is really cool? Yeah. Guild Ball is really cool. If only we and had someone who knew about it and, you know... Uh, could... yeah. Unfortunately, the next tournament in Hemel Hempstead on the 31st of August, I'll be on holiday. Oh, if only you could show it off on the channel instead. Yes. Yeah. Maybe you could play it in the studio one time. Anyway, we'll leave that for a further yeah. consideration. But we're going to be running four competitions, and basically uh, all you'll need to do is go like and comment on one of our videos, uh, and each of those prizes will relate to one of our shows, uh, and we will be putting that on Facebook very shortly as to what you need to comment about. So keep an eye on our Facebook page, which has a link below. Um, what else are we doing? I think that's, I think that's everything. Oh, Thornless Rose. It's still a thing. The Kickstarter is Doing still Kickstarter. going. Uh, it is. How much did you say it was up to, Jim? Uh, something stupid like twelve or thirteen thousand dollars, or yep. from it's more than ten thousand pounds. So it's not even the first few hours. Yes, yeah, yeah, one point yeah. five hours. It's... So you can um, get your hands on these kits um, that allow you to build those. These ones, but additional pledges can also get you your dice tray. Yes, dice trays. Oh, like Garblad Games leather, leather and lasers. Um, you can also order dice and stuff as well, I think. You can. Yeah. And LARP equipment and like tiefling horns and all kinds of stuff you can get from the Thornless Rose. So there's a link for them below as well. So go and check them out, their page and their Kickstarter. Uh, depending on when you're watching this, it may be finished. Uh, but it's already funded. She's got an Etsy and it's all going to be still available oh. rolling. Oh, well, there you the, go. Yeah. And Etsy as well. Uh, and they have kindly agreed to hand out flyers for us at UK Games Expo. Hmm. 
uh, with a nice QR code on the back that you can scan on your phone and go straight to the YouTube Tech. channel. Speaking of which, Tech if you're on our YouTube channel, go and check out our podcast. And if you're on our podcast, maybe check out the YouTube channel. Because uh, occasionally we have battle mat situations Whoa. where we have miniatures on the table and I understand that maybe the podcast version of this might lose a little bit from that. What we should do is on the YouTube version just make everything pitch black for 10 minutes so that way... <laughs> They went out on 10 minutes of yeah. the episode. Okay, cool. Yeah. Dragons. Oh, yeah. Sam's got some dragons. Sam, playing, show off your fine, dragons. It's fine. I've, I've, I've There's no more. dragons. There's no dragons We're in playing. this. We're playing. Okay. Dungeons and dogs. We had those yeah. two. Dra- Dra- Dungeons Dinosaurs. and dragons. Dra- cool. Anyway, I think that's enough. So, without further ado, we shall start over here. This is the bit where I look at Roger. Oh, um, <laughs> I'm going to go over there now. Yeah. Oh, Jim. Hi, oh, Simon. Welcome to my life. Uh, I, I'm Simon. I play uh, Attila. Uh, I play Gif, which is a nearly seven foot tall uh, hippopotamus man. Uh, and I am a, a swashbuckler, or I will be when I reach level three. Yeah. If you reach level three. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I will refer you to my earlier comment of being a nearly seven foot <laughs> bottomless man. Of course I'm going to reach at least level three. Uh, I am Leon and I am playing uh, Kobold Bard, Heskin Longsnout, Bronze of Scale and Silver of Tongue. Yes. I'm Sam and I'm playing with miniatures. I mean what? Um, I'm playing Echo, the Tabaxi Druid. Hi, I'm Roger. I am playing Hriak, the half elf sorcerer. Hriak. Yeah. Hriak. He's Welsh. Oh. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Jim. I'm uh, playing. You're back in the studio, Jim! Oh, no, finally. Yay! Who knew it could happen? Yeah. Uh, they grow up, Jim. That's I'm, what happened. But is Jim really? You were always going to come back. Ow. Ow. Uh, I'm playing Quaff, um, who is a bird man. Aracocra. Ar- Spelt with an exclamation mark at the end. Quaff. Quaff. Man. <laughs> I didn't check it because it sounded like Quaff. <laughs> he, he, he hasn't yes. earned the we exclamation know. mark. Yet. But it's an official Aracocra name from the book. It is. It, it is. is. Yeah, so it's, it's just Watsy's fault. Yeah, it's Quaff. <laughs> um, and I am a Tempest cleric. You are. And who, what, which god are you a follower of? I'm following Thor. Ah, god of thunder. He's cool. Lots of, yes. lots of thundering. Yes. So, previously on The Dark of the Cage, who wants to give a recap? No. I'm looking at Roger. I or maybe forgot, Sam. I've forgotten everything. Oh, I've got this. We went to the pub. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so, I'll tell you what. Oh, Shall we did I'll, have a fight I'll, first. I'll but then I'll... we went to the pub. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We had a That's fight true. and went to the pub. So, yeah. it sounds like yeah, every day here. <laughs> Recoup Friday you, night in you, Newcastle. <laughs> you we gathered yourselves people. together yeah. on the Outlands, rescued people. Yep. Took them through the portal to Sigil. Yep. To safety. Upon where you were mugged uh, by a gang of thugs. Attempted, well, mugging. attempted, attempted mugging. Because there was a bit of uh, Quaff's flying parkour with his trident y stuff. Mm. And a bit of grovelling on the floor from Heston. Which was amazing. Which was yes. so, really yeah. cool. No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and they all stood there going, Mah! and then a hippo went, <laughs> <laughs> and then a tabaxi druid sort of took out the legs several times. Well, I wasn't trying to kill them. But you did. I didn't. Oh. You helped. Um... <laughs> it's like you're in cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You are. Guilty. I'm, I'm the dungeon master. <laughs> um, uh, and Hriak, you were crossbowing with, with mixed results, weren't you? Yes. Yes. Okay. So yeah, you... that was a thing that happened. Did you miss a lot? No, and, but some uh, of his John... crossbow bolts were on fire. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, that was before. That was. Okay, well, oh, the but it's just generally, generally you've no. been doing, doing a bit of accidental magic like, because your character has only sort of stumbled upon this yeah, power yeah. recently. It's all kind of a bit weird. Yes. John can't be here, but Joe Fiel uh, led you back to the Red Lion uh, Inn, which. Oh, let me move this. Okay. I actually have. You got a, a thing? I have a thing. 
Oh, red line in, which you guys won't know, but that's actually in the episode. I overlaid that so viewers can see. Because I watched it. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Uh, So top left, you can see uh, what it looks like uh, from outside, which you approached. There are two large towers in these kind of crag-like structures, and then on the right, you've got the plan view, uh, where (laughs) you can see uh, the courtyard interior, uh, the blue area there. Uh, with large uh, stages and tables and chairs. And Jim's making rude signs behind I am the... not, you can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> so this is making Simon laugh. Uh, and at the bottom there, you can see there's the carnivore uh, abodes, which are like caves and tunnels. Which is where we went to sleep. It was. And at the top, there are the herbivore stables, stables and the rutting pen, <laughs> as it's labelled. <laughs> um, <laughs> Which is, uh, which is great, because barriers like to rut. Anyway, so you guys arrived there, uh, and you were received in by um, some strange-looking elves. Uh, Who got evils. They were Eladrin, uh, and you hadn't kind of seen them before. Uh, and a lot of this is kind of from um, Hryak's perspective, because you're so kind of a stranger in a strange land and all that kind of thing. Um, So you came in and you found that there were a lot of uh, centaur, barrior, you know, quadrupedic creatures. Quadrupedal. Quadrupedal, sorry, thank you. Uh, But also, they had brought in a load of the other members of the Free League, a lot of whom seemed to be suffering from some sort of malady. Uh, And you were kind of a bit confused about what was going on, but quite focused on having a drink and eating. Uh, and meeting uh, Lysander, who is the male Wemmick, one of the three leaders of the Free League. Uh, and he, he talked to you for a while, uh, thanked uh, Joe Fiel, uh, talked about recruitment of the kids and all this kind of stuff. And you're like, hey, let's not force anything on anyone. Uh, and he's like, no, we're all free. It's all fun. Free. This isn't even really a faction, you know, whatever. Um, and then afterwards you met Bria Tomei, who invited you to stay. And um, spoke to Huyak about the fact that they would like, the, in the next coming days, to sit down and talk to him about his world, because they believe that whatever's going on with the Free League and this strange malady is, in fact, tied to the world of Athas, because there's all this pr- uh, prime diaspora that's going on, lots more prime creatures arriving in Sigil and surrounding plains, uh, has got tied in at the same time with this going on. She also informed you that there is a, um, a, a, a sort of sub-faction of the Harmonium who seem to be particularly going after them uh, and they don't like the fact that they're free-thinking people and they, want, they enjoy freedom. Uh, and not like uh, Sensates and other groups who enjoy kind of excess and the freedom of feeling things, but like literally just freedom as a state of being. Um, they are the Free League. So... Uh, the harmonium don't like that kind of thing. People should be organised and orderly and structured. And generally, from a game perspective, the harmonium is generally sort of lawful good, lawful neutral. However, there are aspects of it that sort of stray towards more extreme ways of keeping people in line. And you've heard that they are working possibly with mercy killers, which has got your attention. We met one of those, you fought one and killed one earlier on because the Mercy Killer... <laughs> yeah, we met Hyde. <laughs> um, the Mercy Killer had actually been on Athas. And Hryak has some information that I don't know if he, if he wants to... Did you share the... Yeah, I did mention that they were there. Okay. But you didn't sort of talk about what they were doing or who they were working with. Okay. So, all of that had kind of happened and you'd had some food. There was a bit of healing going on. Uh, Echo was healing um, Priak and sort of freaking him out a bit and he, you were getting used to the fact that it was generally cooler uh, a there's long magic colder. going on um, and no one's tried to read your mind yet um, which is another thing that you found a bit weird um, so you guys have all taken a rest a long rest which means you get your hit points back you recover up to half of your hit dice if you've spent any hit dice on a short rest but you didn't do that so don't worry uh, and any powers and abilities do that, and spells, etc. Refresh. So you are all uh, bright and healed and ready for the next day. I was waiting for what you were going to say then. 
<laughs> Bright and bushy. <laughs> no, I would never say that. Okay. Time for the rutting pens. <laughs> Jim's back! <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, cool. So, uh, you awaken to the sound of uh, shouting in the distance. Um, it, you th- you're not sure what time it is, although you do feel like you've had a full night's rest. But because you're in these kind of uh, tunnels and caves that just have kind of small torches or glowing crystals in the wall for illumination. Could be any time of day. Could be any time of day. You're not sure. Uh, but you do feel like you've had a good sleep. And you were given one sort of large cavern to sort of all rest in together. Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, people here, so space is kind of, you know, a uh, premium. So they're kind of... <laughs> could I have slept outside? Because I wouldn't have liked a cave. You could sleep outside if you want. Oh, yeah, I'm like sleeping. perched up on top of the oh, craggy roof. bits of yeah. the thing. Okay, cool. That's what I would like so you probably wake up a few minutes earlier. And as you hear shouting from below in the courtyard. And you can see um, a large group of um, armoured soldiers approaching, or they have approached the building, uh, and in their kind of faintly red, pink sort of armour, it's a bit faded for some of them, so it looks a bit more pink than red, uh, <clears throat> they are, have approached, and one of them seems to be uh, inside the courtyard, talking to uh, Bria uh, Tomei, uh, who you met yesterday, female human bard. Uh, and as they're talking, she's, you can hear her saying, no, no, you can't come in. This is not, this is, this is free league territory. You cannot come in here. This is, this is a safe space for all of these sick and ill people. And nonsense, out of my way. Men, you hear this kind of shout. And the the guards from outside start to sort of file into the area. In the courtyard, there are lots of sort of sick people sort of lying, sort of not, not like, <laughs> you know, like just yeah. left to themselves. Blankets, he- things under their heads, you know, people tending to them. And then you hear a few sort of alarmed, not like screams, like a horror movie scream, but like, ah! kind of like as soldiers Surprise. kind of rustle people yelps. and move them. Yeah, yelp. That's... Thank you, Roger. Great word. Yelps of surprise. Um, so you can see this going on, right? And you know the way down to the chamber where they're staying. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you can get there pretty unharassed because you can fly. Mm-hmm. So you can go fly down into the tunnel mm-hmm. and go and see where they are. The rest of you, you are in your chamber. I will do that as quickly as possible. Okay, right. You fly down. Um you guys are in the chamber, it's just sort of wait, all waking up sort of within a few minutes of each other, and you can hear this kind of noise going on outside. Um, and as you're kind of rousing yourselves and sort of straightening your clothes and getting your weapons and all that kind of stuff ready, um, people are running past the entrance to the cave. Um, and there's a, a kind of swoosh and a flutter of feathers, and Quaff is standing in the doorway. Um, a look of alarm on his face. Mm. Not that you're used to that. Not yet, that you can read you. it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a. Uh, so do, what? Who? Who? who they look like harmonium there? troops. Yeah, they're harmonium troops in the courtyard. We need to go and help these people now. And uh, Joe well, feels like what? They're hit. Yeah, you, they're you, hit. Come you, on, you... no, no. Just uh, like make sure that they, everyone understands quite what's going on because mm. I expect people to be asleep. Yeah. Everyone's kind of waking up. Joe feels waking up. Um, she fetches up her javelins. Um, ha ha! His. I I Joe re- feel a, it's I shall, a woman, isn't it? Joe feels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. is it a woman? Yeah. I shall. I shall ready myself. Oh, you oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Like get, crack your back. Ga- and... Gauge some distances. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, and then fly back outside. Okay, right. Are you guys following Quaff yep. outside? Yeah, my loot and follow outside. Okay, cool. So you guys emerge. Uh, the 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 kind of corridors kind of uh, merge together towards a, a wider entrance into the courtyard, and you can see now that there are people moving about, and there are indeed a number of Harmonium Guard moving about inside. Uh, from one uh, corridor, um, uh, Grendon Alpha Four appears. Uh, he's obviously been sort of off doing his own thing. You know, he's kind of slightly strange character. He seems to be it's cataloging like little, things. Got a little box yeah. He's got a his body's like this big, uh, but he's about six foot with these long legs, mechanical 
steampunky, a little bit of exhaust as he moves, uh, and kind of long spindly arms. <clears throat> what is happening? He's looking at Heskin. Some harmonious troops are here. A harmonium? To... Yes, that's the one. And they're jostling the place about, and that's not good, so we've come out, see what's going on. It's very early. Gonna kick their butt! Are there, is it still a bit shadowy, or is it like bright now? Or... No, so it's um, it's sort of like 9am sort of thing. It's fairly well, it's fairly bright. Um, there's no sun, as I said before, there's like a glow in the sky. Uh, and you guys are once again confounded by the sight of Sigil. Uh, above and around you, this uh, giant Taurus that you are in the city that is on the interior of. Uh, it loops around on itself, uh, and this glow kind of hangs in between uh, in the middle, and it floats above the infinite spire on the outlands. Um, the the architecture is quite... That, that craggy picture you saw earlier on, uh, lots of things are kind of spiky and barbed, and there's a quite a... Um, Alien Gothic architecture uh, about this place, uh, like this building, uh, with, with this kind of stuff going on. Let's turn both of those off. Cool. cool. Okay. So <clears throat> you he you're heading out into the courtyard. There are some people moving about, um, and you can see Bria Tomei talking to some um, guy in f plate armor. Uh, he's wearing a, a hel open faced helmet. And he seems to be shouting at her, but they're sort of away in the courtyard. Um, How many more of them are there? Are they here? Harmonium guard. Yeah. So looking around, you guess there are probably about sixty of them. Has any of them come? And a few of them are, came? and some of them are walking towards the ca the entrance to <coughs> the carnivore uh, caves. Sixty is quite a lot. It's quite a lot of them. There's, I mean, there's probably a, two, one or two hundred people in the. The tavern as it is, mm -hmm. uh, because are all these sick of, people are brought you know, in. Group still, or are they kind of starting? To... They're starting to filter out through the crowd to like oh, grab what, people. What's Bria doing? Like she's actually. looking around, panicked. To be right. honest, she's kind of like it's suddenly out of her control. Mm -hmm. People are moving around. The people in here are all ill, mm -hmm. and you get the feeling that as you're looking around, you're like, hang on, there are a load of centaurs and burials here yesterday that I can't see. Right. Maybe they went off to like find more sick people and bring them back mm -hmm. you don't know it looks like a several of the well-equipped warrior warriors people. that you saw yesterday you know they were doing like their primal displays and things mm -hmm. they're not there or they're either in the herbivore area or hiding in the carnivore area but you don't think they would be no. uh so you or think or whoever maybe these people are have waited till they've gone out probably. before making their move probably that's probably more speaking the case. of Sometimes. hiding that is exactly Hriak's plan Okay. Do you want to I'm going to try and hide. Okay, go for it. You're going to dart down a corridor or hide so you can see what's going on? Yes, basically a okay. position where I can see what's happening, but from a concealed position. Okay. Uh, on a... something. Uh, 17. Okay. So, you... the I mean, these caves are kind of carved out of kind of this rock. Mm -hmm. uh, and there is a kind of overhang bit deep in shadow that you kind of, <laughs> you sort of all notice React move there very ex swiftly uh, as if he's born to the shadows. And he kind of darts into this kind of nook and he's he's hard to spot in there. I mean, you guys saw him go there so you can kind of see him. Uh, but you think anyone looking into the cave, the cavern entrance, will probably see you guys first and not worry about anything else. Mm. Um, are, are the guards like dragging people outside? What are they... they seem to, you can't see anyone sort of like really manhandling has, anyone. Has anyone come into our, the cave we're in? So as you're standing there, yeah. there are um, seven guards yeah. heading in your direction. Okay. Uh, they all have uh, spears and shields uh, and they're kind of wearing not full plate armour, sort of half plate type thing. Uh, and they are kind of walking towards your area and one of them seems to be sort of he turns to one of them, you go go over there, and he sort of points off at some people sitting to one side. And so six of them are kind of coming over. Um, I shall I shall um, take out one of my explosive tools. Oh, one of your little gunpowder yeah. 
patches. Yeah. I, will, I will suggest that they go no further, otherwise I will blow them up. They, st they stop. Who are you? I will take out my pistol. And uh, they're, all, they're all in plate armor, aren't they? Yeah, and they get yeah. their shields and yeah. they get their swords and shields. Uh, yeah. Sorry, spears and shields. Yeah. I'll take out my pistol. I'm going to take off at this point and hover okay, so over, fly hover up into over the where he is. Okay. Stay where you are. Make no aggressive maneuvers. Otherwise, we shall attack you. Okay, well, I suggest you stay where you are. And you make no <laughs> aggressive maneuvers. Otherwise, I'll blow you up. Boys! Have at him! How are there, is there similar groups doing other things across... There's lots of other people moving around. Yeah, there are sort of small clusters I, of them. I'd like to go and meet one of those other groups. Because okay. he's... From what I've seen of him, he's, he's probably got me covered. Okay, fine. So, <laughs> sure, so you want to try and stealth it round through the tunnels to another yeah. another en entrance yeah. so you can come out and jump another group. So okay. How many other Harmonian troops are there? Six. And how far away from me are they? They are... More important. How far away from me are they? They are about... Probably about 30 feet away. Yeah, because they're kind of coming over and they saw you and were like, whoa! You kind of pulled your gun out. But they're tightly packed right now, aren't they? <laughs> they're, they're just kind of like... Oh yeah, they're kind of nicely... They're in a line. No, no. <laughs> they are all within a 20-foot circle. You know, because they're kind of walking over together, mm. but they're not like in a line. Like you know, this is kind of. Can I can I suggest that they may be, um, they may be. Um, um, well, we could go be deceived by the fact that I'm holding something that looks like a bomb. Or yeah, but your things be... are like they're small, yeah, know, aren't they? Because you have to like, oh, put yeah, them but, in locks and things. Oh uh, yeah, but I've got quite a big hand and, and all the <laughs> seasoned <the> views. <laughs> really know how much is left, and it is quite far away. <laughs> it might look like you're just holding a tissue. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a piece so of string. They might. they like. They might be intimidated by me. They might. <laughs> they might. Can I try and sneak closer to them unnoticed? <laughs> um. It will be difficult because I'm. I'm not going to say no. You could try and sneak out around the wall, get to some of the tables or something, while he's distracting or them. Maybe, but it will be hard. Maybe so you'll have disadvantage because you'll be going kind of over open ground. I'm it's, you're more sort of hoping for a distraction. <laughs> maybe they might be persuaded by. No, they won't be persuaded <laughs> right now. They won't be persuaded right now. Are they not? No, because they're here to like lock you all down. So that that's not really an option, unfortunately. Uh, can I use um, insight to see if I think that they will actually do any harm to make anything? a roll? Uh, I got a sixteen. Is that your lowest? Yeah, I rolled an eleven and an eighteen. Okay. I rolled a four. Okay. Oh, your insight check. Yes. Hang on. Let me see here. Okay. <clears throat> so I do have insight. They so... don't seem to be paying attention to you. Let's put it that way. So I still got a ten. <laughs> Excellent. You're like some little guy who scrabbles out of a cave and round a corner, and you're standing there like, oh, try, make an in, make an intimidate one. Well, can I look around? Yeah, to so see what, if I can see something that might be look bigger than my little thing. Heskin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have an explosive trouble. I, I I got ten. You got ten. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what were you trying? You're trying to figure out whether you think they'll actually. Like severely do harm. Yeah, they're actually going to do harm. So, so you've spent a bit of time oh. in Sigil uh, <laughs> with Joe Phil and Echo, and you know that the Harmonium they are nicknamed the Hardheads, mm -hmm. but they are generally the better out of the bunch of the Harmonium, the Mercy Killers, the Governors. They are generally seen as police rather than executioners. Mm -hmm. um, so generally, they're a bit more amenable to okay. I'm not going to put my hands up, don't kill me. Hmm. And they will also try not to murder everybody. All right. Unless forced. Okay. In which case, I will not murder them. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll see if I can do that. Okay. Do I need to roll low or high? High. High. <laughs> uh, 17. So I get plus two. Okay. Plus two. Yeah, I don't get. I'm, I'm, unlike deception and, and, and persuasion. Where I get plus six, I only get. Yeah, plus unfortunately, two. you have to use the appropriate skill for I'm the okay challenge. With, I'm okay with that. Um, <laughs> they look at you. Straight, how are you doing this? Then you've got your little thing, which has got a little fuse on it. You got it in your hand, right. and you're like, "I'm going to blow you up." No, I basically, I've got, I've got it in my hand, down next to my side. Yeah, and I've got my gun. 
don't come any further, otherwise I'm going to blow you up. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. They're not... Yeah, they, they've had people okay. threaten them before, so they're okay. They're okay. Well, I'll check how this works. Open your palm for him. Okay. I'll be able to whisper to him. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll, I will do exactly what Heskin says. <laughs> okay. Because Heskin... <laughs> they seem to be like... They're, they're now starting to take a few steps towards you. Okay. Like they're about... Like we're, come, we're slowly approaching you. Don't do anything. We're going to try and arrest you. That kind of mo- yeah, yeah, yeah. Mo- movement. We come in, we come in peace, you to kill us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I've, I've, I've done exactly what I've been told to do by asking. Okay. Okay, I'm going to turn around behind me. Yep. And now I want to cast Silent Image and make it look like I put a bomb in his hand. Okay. Right, okay. <laughs> but a much larger bomb. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Yes. You may you may cast your spell. <laughs> With a little bit of music. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Yay. Yay! Cool. Okay. So you turn around and, <laughs> and then you turn back, and a large bomb. Acme is this is a black? Is this like a danger mouse? It's a black round bomb <laughs> with a big with a fuse. <laughs> okay. There a is a big bomb in your smile on my face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, like a huge, enormous smile. Yeah, yeah. You really yeah. will get yeah. blown up! Okay, <laughs> right, make another intimidate roll with advantage. Oh, so you roll, like roll two dice. Oh, no, this time it's 14. an opposed roll. 14. Oh, so just 16 then. Okay, hang on. That's... Okay, the guy in charge who was talking to you, he's like keeps moving forward, and the guy next to him, the others seem to like stop like four of them and he goes what are you boys doing come on let's you you're all under arrest put that bomb down (laughs) there and they seem to be actively backing away so there's just like two of them who are coming towards you yeah and he's like moving forward are you going to try and resist arrest I'm flying, like I'm you're, just So you're up in the air. Yeah, yeah. I'm not right. too far away, but you I'm can not see now from your vantage point. Let you guys think about what you're doing over really the other guys. Because you're <laughs> because it, if you go any further, it's gonna be initiative and we'll have to have combat. Um from where you from where you are, you can see that maybe thirty, forty feet away, uh there's a little tabaxi like poking her head out of another out of another uh tunnel. Mm-hmm. And there seem to be a, a few more guards over there. They seem to be roughing up some um, sick children. Whoa. Actually roughing them up? Like... No, no, like, come on, get up, get up, come mm-hmm. on, come on. And they're like, no, 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 uh, you know. And they're, they're trying to get them up on their feet to take them somewhere, it seems. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this is repeated all across this courtyard. You can see all these people are being, they're trying to get them up and get them out of here. Mm. Oh, I don't know what to do. Can I throw a pebble at one? There are three of them near these kids. There are two kids on the floor and there yeah. are three harmonium guard. Oh. And uh, yes, you can, may throw a pebble. A pebble like, Oi! <laughs> okay, you throw a pebble at him and it like boom, hits, hits his armour and he turns around. What do you want? What do you want? What are you doing with those children? He looks like genuinely confused <laughs> by the question. Yeah. Fuck off! <laughs> and he like turns back to like... Come on, come on, go! Okay, how far away are the nearest group apart from those? Well, that would be anyone? that would be back at the other. Okay, yeah, the, there are that? two who are sort of moving away. They're probably twenty-five feet diagonal. Okay, and if something kicked off with their mates, they'd probably leave the children alone and come and help their mates. Uh. Generally, yes, the harmonium sort of look after them, look after their own, you know, general attack. If there's a big, like, something's going on over there, they'll... Okay, I'm going to throw, not another, fighting throw another pebble. Okay, right, what does this one do? No, no, just throw a pebble. So you throw a pebble yep. back at one of the two the guys one. Yeah. who are running away. Oh, of no, the, the three. ones that are okay, right. the kids. Yeah. Okay, the guy turns around. Fuck off! You woke me up! Uh, someone will be round for you in a minute. Wait your turn. Why? We're getting you all out of here. Why? You're diseased. It's disgusting. What? You're spreading disease around the city. And you're going to move it? We're going to contain it. It's contained here. Loads of people left here last night. It's not contained anymore. <laughs> Pebble. <laughs> <Doom>. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, 
don't test me, or I'll come over there and sort you out myself. Okay. Pebble. <laughs> you throw him. Okay, right. He like <laughs> reaches down, picks up his sword that he's like, he's obviously not brandishing a sword against a 12-year-old child. Picks up a sword and goes, right. I'm coming. <laughs> and he like wanders over. You sort them out, and he's like starts walking over to you. Like I'm going to come sort you out. Yep. He's sort of approaching. While while this is all going on, Huyak, what are you doing? Well, they're not really paying attention to me. I'm trying to establish what the hell is happening. So there are two guys now who are backing away on your side of the leader of the the kind of sergeant. Yeah, because there's a group of them. six. Then, yeah, there? six and two on either side, kind of backed away. So two near you, sort of backing away. They're not paying attention to you. You're hiding behind some tables now. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just quite happy hiding. And they are seem to be looking rather interested in other things and maybe moving away from that area. Well, I'm basically trying to establish if these are like bad people or not, because I have no idea. Okay. Let's make an insight roll. Make an insight roll. You can hear them talking, these two. Oh. And one of them says, go and tell the captain. Go uh, and tell the captain. You fucking go and tell the captain. It's not my job to tell the captain about everything that's going on. I'm going to... Ten. <laughs> Shrug. They, they seem to be trying to control everyone here, put, subjugate them, it looks like. But you have flashbacks of that hiding bad. under a table in your home in Tyr as the Templars and the, the Sorcerer King's men come in yeah, yeah, and take so people like away. But there are 60 soldiers here, you said. There are. Yeah, but they're, but they're all doing stuff. Yeah, there's but people I don't know around. Yeah, no but, no, but I'm just wondering if you kill one of them, you annoy all of them. They're well, like wasps. The, <laughs> like wasps. The hippo seems to be quite happy to point a gun at them, so that's probably about the best I've got to go on here. Can't. So I'm going to try and focus my mind to work out what I did to make the woods catch on fire the other day. Because I'm oh, burning hands. Yeah. Okay, you want to try and get. I'm, I'm going to be trying to figure okay. out how to do it. Arcana roll or something? Yeah, let's do an arcana roll. So, right, I was scared and I wanted to do something and I needed something to happen. Yeah. About 18. And I stood on a rock. 19. (laughs) (laughs) 19. Yes, okay. We'll we'll say that's high enough that you're like, uh, oh, I I was thinking like this. Ah! (laughs) Burning hands. Yeah, I'm going to try and get the four that are clumped together. So you're like, I'm going to make well, you explode! So two of them have moved away. Like, so what's the range on burning hands? Uh, it's a 15 foot cone. <laughs> okay, so uh, you'll be able to get these two guys in front of you. So like, oh, I thought they were the all ones moving close. away. They've moved away from the sergeant. So the sergeant was yeah. moving towards them yeah. with another guy. Two men were moving towards you. The two people that... It's moving. almost like I should put some sort of battle mat down with some miniatures on it or something. Just to, like, so it, have the... The other two moved more than 15 feet away from them. Uh, you fire a 15 foot cone. Yeah, but I can move and do it. You, if you want to do that, you can do that. Okay. Assi- this is going to trigger initiative for everybody. Yeah. Well, let's be honest. This combat. isn't a subtle thing. They're going to know where I am after <laughs> sure. I've done it. <laughs> You're like sure. stealthy. Boom. Okay. Stealthy. So, oh. how about... <laughs> so I, be- I, w- I, I was going to say I'm waiting for something to kick off. Like Okay, yeah, you're like... like yeah. Sort of hovering really? within, I assume, one sort of dive attack range. Not really, but let's <laughs> wait for that to okay. see what happens. Shall okay, we? right. So you're gonna <laughs> step out and, and <laughs> flame. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we'll all roll initiative, right? And um, Ooh, Roger, you're gonna track initiative for me. Am I? You are. Can I have some paper? You may. Ooh. Oh, you did even better than I did. There you go. Why? Well, I'm guessing, so I'm guessing why? you're going to be going first. 22. I rolled a 12. I draw the map, but I get a bonus to my initiative. Right. And then I think I'm going to be going next. Or do I have to wait until I have a swash <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So mine go on. Oh, 21. Oh, they go at the same time as me. How does that work? Well, you you'll get a surprise going. round, basically. So. I don't know where it is. I can't find it. What's that? Oh, at the moment, I think it's Dex bonus. Where is it? It should be there. Oh, it should be there. Okay. Dex bonus. Two. Ah, yeah, yeah. Right, so... Did anyone roll particularly high? Did anyone roll particularly high? No. Okay. Oh, sorry, I got 19. Oh, yeah, so... I'm on 14. What do you get, Sam? 
Six. Oh, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Leon, Sorry, you, just, Leon, you just wait until I move and then you can decide. Is it 19? Yes. Six. Yeah! It's fine, I'm throwing pebbles. <laughs> so here's, here's a bit of gravel. Ooh, scary. Dink. I'm just wondering how it looks though, like the bomb's here and then the fire's over there. Yeah. <laughs> still holding a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it works. If, if he next? moves, does the bomb stay still? No, I have, to, to, I have to. Yeah, the bomb will stay where it is. Yeah. 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 I've got no clue as to what's going on. The only direction I've got is the hippo He's pointing a gun and threatening them with a bomb. Yeah. I'm not even sure what a bomb is, but it looks bad. Simon, you're going to have to you're going to have to act like a mime, like try and push it through there and go, why won't it move? <laughs> oh, it's going to be like bad no, CG because you're going to move and just it's going to move and it's going to be a lag I can just step away from the bomb and go like oh, well, you can come you closer but that's where the bomb is so. right see my character doesn't realise what a bad idea it is so taking direction from Simon <laughs> we will switch to battle cam battle cam what? let's see if I can uh... say wow Ooh, yeah. do you want some random spotty dudes for the not bad it's not as wide um, as it needs to be it's not as wide as it needs to be it's okay we what we will do and that's that's not bad actually because you can't see it very clearly if it's not that way uh, okay. yeah, yeah. here's some he found earlier here's the 60 guards that we're about to piss off <laughs> <laughs> right. well, I don't know there's 60 we're not going to excuse the war <laughs> we're not going to annoy 60 of them right where's your minute here I think we're going to. <laughs> if some of them die, you're going to annoy all six right. well. No, 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 no. We got they only really know that they ran in. Put him they where are you they, next they to him? Next. Yep. No one's gone to get the captain or anything. Yes, but what my plan involves making rather a lot of noise. Okay, cool. Okay, that's okay. Quack. <laughs> no, quack. quack. <laughs> a majestic space dog. I think what, once we've done for them, we can uh, steal their clothes and pretend to be them. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, we have time. Yeah. Are like they seven hippo size? Oh, no, no, two, no, two, it doesn't it. matter. One of them could be a kobold. I've seen enough films to know that the clothes will automatically you see fit my perfectly. Persuasion <laughs> yeah. Plus six. Yeah. I can convince anyone of anything. Does it work on the GM? No. No, sadly <laughs> not. Oh, Jesus, there's a. Hold on. Am I aware of all of these guys around? Well, yeah, I think you're aware that there are quite a number of people. Oh, no, I was aware there were six. Well, Kriak, you're aware. there. Okay. Hey, look, Kriak, you got a round base. Right. You're oh, different. Okay. You must be from a different realm. I'm also a lot smaller, apparently. <laughs> um, that's you, Sam. <laughs> far away. Yep, I'm totally Morgan. <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, you're going to be this priest. Okay. Okay. Not a bird. Not a bird. Can I be the dragon? No. Oh. Yes, you could be <laughs> the Way bird. Way too big. Oh, it's Kevin. Uh, and then Jophiel... He's going to have... Oh, um, Is Jeff, you're not, not told, yeah, sort of told a oh, sense. He's going to have... going to be one of these spear people. Because she has a javelin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to get... We're going to get uh, character-appropriate figures at some point, hopefully. Well, I don't mind. I love I think tiny everybody else is just slacking. Um, it's okay. Same Because I bought it's dragons okay. instead. Cool. Well, look, I look tiny up there. Look at that. So you're... Uh, you're burning hands, people, are you? I didn't realise there were lots more of them around. You know when he said there were like 60 so, guys? Yeah, but I didn't know that. Jim saw yeah, that. Still don't oh, know okay. That. So, there are... Um, oh, I might have a pointing stick. Aha! Uh-huh. Um, there's one on the shelf, but it's attached to a raven. <laughs> I feel like it's predicting that I start with a pointing stick. Um, oh, nice. I didn't oh, behind, behind the, behind the scenes. scenes. Okay, so we have... Um, Attila, Heskin, we have Jophiel, and then we have some uh, guards, uh, and then uh, we have Sam very carefully over here. Over yeah, here. you can just about see yeah. in the far yep. corner. Yeah, okay. we have the other guys, and off shot, you're over here somewhere. Yep. Totally not Morgan over there. Yes. Yeah, so oh, he's invisible. Uh, to pan it out a bit, hang on. Let me see if I can just quickly zoom it out a bit so that people can see a bit more. Did that do anything? Nope. 
I think I just moved it. Yeah, mm-hmm. you just moved it. You didn't. You didn't get the call. Oh, it's hard to. It's hard to see it from here. There you ah. go. <laughs> okay. It's Move the whole thing up. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, no, because it reveals the camera down the bottom. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. And it's more a case of. Uh, we can just about get everyone in. There you go. Look. There you Yay. Go. Yay. Cool. Okay. So, a somewhat. Uh, so Sorry, I didn't have a lot of time for pre-setup today, so that's why everything's right. a little bit um, jiggery pokery. Uh, he's flying in the air. Okay. So he's roughly. So the reason I put him there. So that we don't think he's stood next to them. Is that, but also you can kind of you're sort of hovering around. So um, well, well, I'm, you're hovering I'm in, around over there. I'm interested in like it's between these, the, between nice. the guards and uh, and Hippo Man. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But sort of above. Yes. Above. Yeah. Okay, I'm so, not going to stay there. So we're not, we're not in like a cavity bit. We're in like a big open oh. space. Gelatinous cube! <laughs> is that right? We're in a big open area. Yes, this is a big open area. Right. Yeah. So there's a big wall along here. This is a part of the wall. 60 guys. Um, <laughs> along here. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And then there's like a stage over on this side. There's lots of tables you and just chairs dotted around. So this is all an open area. So you can hit that. So Quaff can actually fly up into the sky. I'm going to remove that box because it's a bit too And how big are the squares? Plastic's a bit too thin. Five foot. Oh. Yeah. That kind of causes problems. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, fifteen foot cone is not big. Yeah, I might not be doing that. I didn't okay. realise that there were. Well, that's fine. We've got right initiative. There. We've got initiative, haven't we? Yeah. For everyone. Uh, what do you want? That or? Yeah, yeah, sure. So, um, they are fairly. As I said, they're fairly close to you, coming towards your table. Uh, what do you want to do? do are they looking Correct. at me or no? Okay, no, I'm just going to duck down. I'm just going to stay okay. hidden. Okay, right. So, I didn't realise there were cards. Right Jim, now. you're waiting. Uh, I'm going to hold my action until um, some proper combat begins. So, until okay. like someone actually takes like a proper hit, mm-hmm. I am going to be holding myself. Okay, so sky. then it's my turn. Basically, this chap is going to wander over to you. Mm-hmm. This chap is going to step forward. This chap is going to step forward. And they're going to try and they're, they're moving towards you to uh, arrest, not to fight you. So they move forward and they say, come with us. Leon, Heskin, what are you doing? I'm making this. Heskin looks at Attila <laughs> and the giant bomb that he's holding. <laughs> Uh, goes, are you having a laugh? <laughs> and cast Dash's hideous laughter oh, okay. on the captain. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, creature choice you can see within range perceives everything is hilariously funny, falls into fits of laughter if this spell affects it. Target <laughs> okay. must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or full prone. Okay, a wisdom. That's clearly going to be one of his top stats. Spells say DC 12. Uh, I got an 11. You got a 10. It's got plus one. He get, he starts laughing. <laughs> <laughs> the guy next to him, like, like <laughs> Sergeant, what are you doing? <laughs> Just like, <laughs> Just like, crazily laughing. What what does that do to him? So he's uh, falls prone, he's unable to stand up uh, for the duration, up to one minute. This one with uh, the feather in him. Yes. Yeah. At the end of each of his turn, and each time he takes damage, the target can make another wisdom saving throw. The target has advantage on the saving throw if it's triggered by damage. On a success, the spell ends. Okay, so don't hit him, and he'll carry on. He's running around laughing prone on the floor, in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. really fun. It's really fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, um, <laughs> oh, uh, a bonus action. Okay. Uh, bardic inspiration. Okay. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> I will give uh, Tiller a d6. To there you go. Okay, it's Tiller. It's your go. Um, I shall put my gun away. Okay. I shall tell the man next to him. Um, 
as long as you don't try and take my weapons off me, I will happily come with you. Okay. And I shall wait for his reaction. He's confused. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Bria? Where's... Oh, she's off. Uh, off off shot. Okay. Over there. I think we forgot to roll for Joe Fiel. Um, roll a four. She's in there. A okay. typical joke. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I may, I may, I may offer. It, ask me if he wants to hold the bomb, though. I'm a bit worried about it. <laughs> I won't, I won't no, are you that. moving? Are you like no, standing? No, no, just, just so you've still, got your I'm hand under that. it. I've got my hand under a bomb. I said, yeah, I'll it's like gun away. you need to put that down. <laughs> okay. I I shall, maybe I should take that off your hand. <laughs> okay, I shall step away from the bomb. <laughs> and it just like hangs in the air. <laughs> like it's quickly mine, <laughs> 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 holding it up and looking like I'm make a, struggling. Make a performance roll under the weight of it. <laughs> oh god! Natural <laughs> twenty. Hey! <laughs> you're like, oh! <laughs> yeah, you're like <laughs> underneath it because like, you're oh, quite make tall. A performance roll. So it's well... probably you're like this, you know. Like Atlas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you're like holding it up. He's like, oh. <laughs> he looks even more. Okay, it's really volatile. <laughs> Don't drop it. No ah! shit. <laughs> I, I, I shall suggest. I shall say to. I shall say, Heskin, come along. Leave this man with a bomb. <laughs> He's like the guy on the floor. Is like creasing up now. He's like laughing. In fact, you're trying to hold the bomb up. Um, He's going to he's gonna try and see if he can see that it's an illusion. Because it, as good as you are, yeah. I mean, a natural 20, it's going to be really hard. He's going to have disadvantage. <laughs> you want a four. <laughs> a six. So no. He's, he's totally like, sold. Uh, it's an intelligence investigation check yeah, against my spell DC. Yeah, just, is he trying he's to hold the bomb firm. now? No, no. He's just like, don't move. Don't move. Okay. Is the fuse like forever just fizzing? Uh, kind of thing? No, I figured it wasn't lit. Because <laughs> they would obviously never get down. Yeah. So, okay, he's like, put it down, just put it down. Okay, I, I'll just hand it to you. It's really heavy. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay. if he touches it, he knows it's not real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I assume at that point he's probably just going to run away. Right? <laughs> yeah. So he like reaches out for it. So and yeah. he goes and I'm like that. Okay, okay. Where are you moving then? Because you get a move. Oh, cool. Um, that's all part of your... We'll say that's all part of your... This is part of my grand scheme. All part of your performance. Uh, I'm going to uh, run off round to the tabaxi, I think. Okay. Move... Uh, what's your move? 20. 30. 30. So six... Six squares. Right. So, Attila, you put your... The, the bomb is... Now, he's kind of swiped at it. Yeah. You're there. You put your gun away. Yeah. What do you want to do? Do you want to... Just kind of... Sidle away. Sidle away. <laughs> okay, you as you you're gonna follow yeah, Heskin yeah. basically. Okay, yeah, you hear him shout, "Stop! Stop! <laughs> what? 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 Stop!" And there's like ah, 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 on the floor, uh, and like people are starting to like look around, like what the and fuck the is other going two on? Are just like, huh? Yeah, the uh, these two. Yeah, they've kind of stopped and gone uh, and looked over in this direction to see what's going on. And those guys, if you can turn them around as yeah. well, their their attention has been drawn. Five um, um, <laughs> Joe Fiel, I'm I'm trying to judge what John would do in this situation. I get a feeling he'd use divine favour and throw a javelin at someone. Hmm? Probably, <laughs> but he wouldn't start the fight. Has Joe Fiel ever done that before? She wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. uh, I don't think she'd start the fight. No, though. I don't think she'd initiate. No. She'd no. probably try and no. say we're not coming with you politely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I think I, well, the the other thing is is that perhaps she wants to get to Bria. Is it the yeah? That would be I think more perhaps, so. Perhaps so I think she would f- want to get to Bria. So if you can move Joe Fiel around with those guys as well. Yep. Um, the those four people who turn around now look like they're a bit more annoyed by this whole mess. There's a lot of noise going on. Um, uh, Echo. Yep. Am I in combat with him? He has stepped up to you and gone, come on. And he's holding a sword. And I'm holding a sword. Well, I've got a raven, so. <laughs> <laughs> Not him. It's a different miniature. Cock on! Cock on! No, that's me. My, okay, so ultimately, my plan was to just be irritating. 
<laughs> You're quite good at <laughs> Dance around him a bit yeah. and get him to follow me back to his mates. You could disengage. <laughs> move. You could disengage and move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you could do that. Yep, and that will give me, if my movement's 30, I can move. Six it. squares. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. Yep. Are you prancing? Whoop, 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 whoop. Like it's jumping on the table. Kind of, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like, he's like, uh, ah, I'm like, really agile and you can't catch me. He go, so he goes to grab you and you kind of <laughs> whoop between his arms. Yep. Uh, and you make your way over to a table and you're kind like of mocking the table him be like, Nuh. Yeah. And, and he's like, yeah, He turns just... around and he's like, Nuh. and he's he's raising his sword in anger. I don't want him to think. I just want him to follow. Yeah, yeah. No, he's raising his sword in anger and he looks like he's going to probably attack you next turn. Well, I hope he started it then. Sure. <laughs> right. Quaff. Uh, yeah, Quaff. Because you and uh, Joe Phil are actually at the same time. So. I think I'm still waiting. Like, I don't want to start anything. Okay. You know? I'm, I'm good. Okay. So, yeah. You know, so, you're, so you're... I think I'm holding my... Hold out, your action. Again, hold action okay, in cool. case combat starts. What are his mates doing? Are they still... Like, his mates... Uh, the, these ones here... No, the other two. Those uh, two. These ones. Were, oh, like, um, waking the children. One of them's turned around to see what's going on. The other one seems to be escorting a child away. Okay. Um, does it look like they've noticed me? Because I was... Facing are you all hunkered down table? behind the table? They're more worried about the seven-foot-tall hippo man. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, like I'm, behind I'm, I'm just going to stay hidden for a while because I'm not quite sure if I should be... The hippo said, let's go with them, and then walked off, so he's now even more confused by what's going on. <laughs> let's go with them. Oh, the opposite direction. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Okay. Um, the guy hasn't been hurt. He gets a roll every turn? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, he passed. He stands up. <laughs> That's funny. Man. He's like, oh, 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 oh. Um, grab them, get them. He just cast something on me. Get them. And they're all like, oh, and they. Can I shout? No, I didn't. <laughs> <Can> <laughs> I'm trying to persuade them. You, no. Oh. <laughs> no. Well, you can. <laughs> but the DC will be very high. So feel free to make a roll. DC 25 with disadvantage. <laughs> Probably. Not really worth it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Uh, <laughs> so they now so start that, to. That was his go. So th they all go at the same time. Right. Yeah. So he's gone. Well, go and get them. So uh, they're going to charge you. So, but uh, aren't they all going to be confused as he stands up and shouts, "Go get them!" So surely that's his turn, telling them to go get them. Yeah, and then they will go and get you at the same time as him telling them. Yeah, like yeah. Just they after. get up yeah. and just go. Yeah. yeah. So. This guy is going to go. One, two, three. Uh, is it one, two, three, four, five. Can I use inside to see if they're actually going to be aggressive? They look like they're. You don't need to roll inside for this. <laughs> they're char They're running at them with their weapons out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Then b before they get. Oh, oh no, okay. no, no. Then they're not then before they get there because there's there's two there that are like the the captain and yep and whatever. These two. Yeah. Right here, conveniently underneath you. Yeah, kind of underneath me. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast Thunder Wave. Oh, -ho! this Sing is a good my spell. <laughs> this is a good spell. Just before you do, I'm just yeah. going to move the other people so that they've all been moved. Okay. Like over here. Yeah. So these guys. Yeah. Do we get to take on? I, I mean, if they're closer, I can get all of them. Can you yeah. defer over as well? Can oh, you yeah. Defer actions in D&D? Pardon? Uh, can you defer actions in D&D? I think you can. I think you can, I think you can yeah. say... You, can, you, can hold oh, you have you to hold have your to... action until something very specific. Yeah, oh, say, I didn't know that. Yeah. Until I'm... You said until combat kicks off, yeah. which yeah. it is now kicking yeah. off. Oh, God, So you I... would have to say, I can hold oh, my I action. I did say I was waiting for it to kick off. Okay. That's fine. You can uh, <laughs> hold your out. action okay. until it kicks off. So that's fine. We'll have you two... Uh, well, Jim will go. Before yeah, so Jim is higher initiative anyway. So, quaff. So what I was, what I'm going to just if if people that are in the largest area, I'm going to get the the most These number ones. of people. Yeah. Uh, what's the range on the on the spell? Uh, it's a 15 foot cube, so it's actually larger than 15 foot on a diagonal. <laughs> so I could get. Them. I worked it out. <laughs> you could get all of these. No, so you can get those two or those two. I can't know within 50. I could get at least three. No, because it's yeah, four, no. five, ten, fifteen, fifteen yeah. foot cube. Yeah. So um, I could get... One, two, three. Yeah, it's three by three. Yeah, yeah within three. One, two, three, one, two, three. So I can get at least him and him and him. 
If it's a, yeah, if it's can a get three. one, two, three, four squares. No, no, no. If he lands in the middle of the the guy with the big flouncy feather, and the guy Here. this side, yeah, he can get three of them. No, but I, but I can I, I can I can cast. Oh no, there's two squares. Sorry, there's two squares between. Sorry. Huh. Oh yeah. It fair. looks like there's, there's two squares one from here. All right. Um. Yeah. Then I'll cast it on the uh uh the the, the captain boss man the sergeant <laughs> and the other guy. He's having a great day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're They're casting magic. No, we're not. <laughs> um, and I'm going to use my um, blessing thing. Your which, blessing, uh, not my. Well, now what's it called? No way. You do lightning. maximum damage. Oh, uh, oh yeah, channel divinity. Oh, channel divinity, and do maximum damage. Uh, so on a lightning spell, basically, isn't it? Uh, or thunder, thunder or lightning. Yeah, thunder, thunder or lightning. Or lightning. Yeah. Um, if they're in play, I'll do lightning. That's a bit more conductive, isn't it? Um, and uh, do 16 points of damage to both of them. Okay. Cool. Uh, do Somewhere. you have to roll anything? I don't think so because it's a cube. No, they they get a DC save. Okay. So they get a dex save. So are you, what are you landing the other side of them? I'm not landing. So oh, he's I in the air. Oh, you just cast the spell. They, they have to make a con save. I thought it was a. I thought it was a. Dex a wave save. of thunderous force sweeps out from you. Each creature in a 15 foot cube originating from you must make a ah. Constitution saving. This throw. is in front of you, so literally you're and no, no, going. No, no, it's all around him. Yeah, but it's Where, three, no, so no, you will have to go and sort of hover above them and yeah, go boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. I can cool. be fifteen. So they take, them. they make con saves. Yep. Okay. Oh no! What's your DC? Uh, spell DC. That one. Yeah. DC save is thirteen. Okay, so the the sergeant saves the other guy does. Two D eight thunder damage for the failed save and is pushed ten feet away. Okay. Uh, on a successful save, the creature takes half as much damage and is not pushed. So he takes eight. Takes eight, uh, and he's dead. Oh no, not wait, that one. Sorry, dead? wrong one. Wrong way round. Wrong way round. Sixteen damage. Yeah. He's a, just a dude. He's dead. And he's... Uh, in addition, unsecured objects that are completely within the area of effect are automatically pushed ten feet away from you by the spell's effect, and the spell emits a thunderous boom audible boom! to three hundred every... feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you... cool. Boom. Okay. <laughs> boom. It... Everyone in the courtyard goes, huh? <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't specifically say, but I'm not sure if being a lightning thunder one does extra damage to things in plate or not. Uh, no, 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 just for effect. Okay. He just does so max damage. damage. Okay, so um, and I'm going to damage. say in uh, in my own tongue. Surprise, motherfuckers! <laughs> um, to them. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 I think it's shocking grass. Shocking grass does do extra damage if you're wearing plate or if they're wearing yes, plate. Yes, yes, yeah. it does. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. But right. after the boom, what I want to hear is this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Quaff has thunder waved. Excellent. Uh, Huyak. Okay, so it's hitting the fan. I think now is my time to make my move. I'm going to go do some stuff. So you get a move and then an attack. Yeah. yeah. This Sorry, this is going to represent the modron. Okay. <laughs> Protect the modron at all costs. And then, um. Hang on, let me just switch to the. Floor. Can you just point out for our viewers where you've moved to? So, John, so I've moved from hiding behind the table, yep. scuffled round yep. to the side here. Yeah. Okay. At which point. <laughs> okay. Burning hands. Burning hands. Cool. So, no, not cool. It, it, the opposite of cool. Hut! So they must make a dex saving throw. Okay. DC something. 13. Well, they fouled. 7 and a 3. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Ooh. Ouch. It's not bad. Uh, 12 damage each. Okay. Uh, yes, they're dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah! <laughs> As they're on fire. Ah! And they fall to the floor. Uh, crisp. Crispified. Uh, so you've just had electrocution, and then you've just had a burning, uh, and several people from around are sort of like. Has he feels a little you inadequate have... with his spell? <laughs> 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 hey, the hey, you know, last thing is cool. rest before you can cast more spells. <laughs> <laughs> we shot, a, we shot our load a bit. <laughs> no, no, you can do two spells. <laughs> wow, yeah, three more. Oh, three. Oh, yeah, you're a sorcerer, so you're like. Right, cool. Right, react. Right, now it's their go. Aha! 
So, we will have some... Well, no, they, they, they just had their go. That was their... Oh, that was their go. You're yeah, right. They, Sorry, they, you were waiting they for got, your actions. They got aggressive, Sorry, yeah. so we... Yeah. Heskin. Jump them. <gasps> it's over to you. Cool. What are you doing? So we're still in combat and rounds? Yep. Yes. Stuff is happening. Okay. Oh. So the thunder just went off, and then yeah. some fire just went off, and then... Yeah, if there's anything flammable, it's... Oh, it, it might be time to actually draw my rapier and do We've something done. Like that. Thunder. Oh! We've done thunder and lightning. Yeah. Is it very, very, very frightening? Very frightening. <laughs> can you cast... Yeah. Can you fear? <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. No. Um, it would no, be cool. It's a first level spell. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't true. Yeah. I remember what spells I got. Yeah. I was just seeing if there were other options. Yeah. But, uh... No. It's... Sword fighting time uh-huh. for the, the dashing Heskin. Yeah, with my feather. <laughs> <laughs> where where are you? Just point out. Just yeah. Okay. And we go in a fight. My name is Heskin. You probably didn't kill me. Okay. Cool. Prepare to be slightly wounded. Yes. <laughs> Pull that sword out. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm. Hang on, I'm gonna because I got pack tactics, which I think I should get because I'm next to Attila. Okay. So I have advantage attack. I roll against the creature if at least one ally is within five feet of the creature. Oh, no, he's out of there. But I've got some like sensitivity. No, no, no. So I'm at it's, it's a five foot like that. That's that's, the one with the spears, Jophiel. Yeah, yeah. 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 So but, but I am five foot away from him. No, no, no. no, no, no you got to be from, next. Yeah, from yeah, the, okay, yeah, the yeah. Five foot is just a square. You've got to be the next square. Um, so how how sunny is it? Uh, it's not bright. Oh, it's okay. not bright at the moment. So you haven't got. We're in situ. There's no like bright sun. There's no at peak. You would have that. So, He's like noon of the other day, eyes. you yeah. would. Oh, okay. So, I'd say two hours either side of that, you'd be having that problem. Okay. But most of the time, it's quite gloomy, actually. It's quite like it's, there's a, almost like a sense of an industrial smog blocking the sun, that kind of feel to the glow. Yeah. When it's not bright, it's Heskin's time to shine. Aha! Uh, 19. 19. Oh! Uh, that's my dex bonus. Yep. So, yeah, and your proficiency bonus. I certainly hope that's going to oh, help. Plus proficiency. Is, yep. Oh, I thought that is my... Okay, so is that plus that four? That is your attack one. I thought my proficiency was from my... No, no. No, okay. my attack bonus is plus four. You guys. Yes. Yes. So 23. Yes. That is definitely a hit. Ha, ha, ha. one That one. Plus your dex. Oh, plus dex. Yep. Uh, five damage then. Okay. Five damage. You ha-ha, hop onto a little stool and go, Whoo-ha! and he's like, Whoo! and you jab into his side. <laughs> a little bit of blood comes out on your blade. Um, <laughs> right, Heskin, right, Attila. He's been checking his combat stats. I'm trying to remember when I, when I get to do that, my sneak attack. But I think that's. You <laughs> have advantage. Yeah, and that is that when if I, if somebody else is with me. Um, if you are, you've got to be flanking them either side of them. I get to move first. I love, I love. Yeah, there's the there's, there's no one around him. You can go behind that. Yeah, yeah, there, 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 well, there is one next to him there. What? Isn't it? Yeah, you're engaged by this guy. Oh, okay, okay. I'm engaged by that guy. Yeah. Congratulations. I, um, so um, I will. Sh- <laughs> but you I could will... risk an attack of opportunity and move to there. No, it's fine. I'll just shoot the guy in front of me. You put your gun away. That's okay. So it's got two, look. So, <laughs> I've got two. Right. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's fair. Because I can draw your weapons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just a... Yeah. 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 It's I reloading will... that would take you a... Uh, no, take... not, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a level three. Oh, yeah, of course. You've got your... Have you got that yet? I thought uh, that was level three. level three. Yeah, <laughs> I like the way you have, have accrued all of the special <laughs> micro abilities I, before you've I even do, got to them. I do keep saying, like, yeah, I, I can do that for free. It's like next level, next, next level. level. No, I shall sh- yeah. draw both my pistols and shoot me in the face. Yeah. Okay, right. Both my uh, so I can see that I can see okay. the plan for this combat now is we have to so kill at least X. He will have to advantage to hit you so next round <laughs> because you're using ranged weapons in he, close he combat. Won't be here next sure, round. but. <laughs> If he were here next round, he would have advantage yeah. to you because you've just gone and you haven't got defensive weaponry. So I got a uh, four for my first one, which I actually probably misses. And that's your main hand. Yeah. Cause remember, your off hand yeah. doesn't get your dexterity yeah. bonus for damage. I thought it was to. Oh, Magic yeah. D6. That's your um, inspiration. inspiration. Second one rolls four. I rolled four in both my dice. 
you've missed. I keep so you go, whoa, and he goes, ah! And he makes a lot of noise. Keep, yeah, yeah. A lot goes, of noise. Over his shoulders. And he's like, ah! <laughs> That's what you'll get if you don't leave us alone. Yeah. Okay. Meant to do that. Echo and Jophiel. Um, Jophiel is going to... Travel in something. Yeah. Jophiel is a bit of a tactician. Let me just... What did I need to hit? You need More a, than four. You needed an 18 to hit him. I needed 18. They're wearing half plate and shield. So, Jophiel. They're fairly well. Jophiel is going to go here. Oh my god, I got so lucky with my hit. Yeah. <laughs> Jophiel's maneuvered round behind your opponent. Okay. So, you now both have advantage. Okay, so, you can ste- sneak attack on your next one. Uh, but that means she gets advantage. Natural 20. Yep. Ooh, Look yay. At that. <laughs> you won't need to. Uh, well done, John. <laughs> so, what I've said, and we said last time, critical hits. Instead of ro- d- so normally, what you would do, for example, Jofiel does one d six plus two damage with a javelin. That would become two d six plus two. So the modifier doesn't double, but the dice do. My rule is, you get a six on one of those dice for free because it's a critical hit. Cool. And then you roll the other one. I rolled a six. Look at that. Um, so Squish. Jophiel runs around behind and then phew, javelin comes through the guy's uh, chest. And he goes, die by my blade. <laughs> or some other cool. weirdly... Something cool. And something cool. And awful. Yeah. There you go, John. Uh, Echo. I'm going to keep dancing around. Disengage. Yeah. Disengage. Yep. Do, 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 do. And then kind of this way-ish. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to put your fingers in your head? Where, where, where all the people are dying. <laughs> like, I don't need to fight you. <laughs> you see Skin. my friends? And <laughs> <laughs> he sees <laughs> Oh! Whoa! <laughs> right, make an intimidate roll. <laughs> uh, I don't have it, but I do have, as a bard, I get like half... half I get of jack of all trades. Yeah. Half I have half, half my proficiency bonus. To so, isn't it rounded down, though? Well, he's got provision advantage of two. So oh, yeah. oh, no. One. One. <laughs> yeah, you go... <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I am. <laughs> and I'll sort them out after I've sorted you out. I didn't mean mine. <laughs> he's uh, He seems to be focused. Unless yeah. you want to make a roll to try and... Uh... No, no. It's okay. fine. Okay, cool. Um, quaff. Uh, I'm, I'm still in the air. Yes, you had to come down a bit. Yeah, so I'm at least 15 feet off the air. Yes. But I'm going to fly up 20 feet. Yep. So I'm 35 feet up. Yep. And then straight back down on the captain from the other end with my trident. And go... Great. Is that the dive attack thing? Yeah. Okay, cool. You said I could have... Right. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's a racial thing for... Like, you've got your charge... Uh, the, the it just makes sense the Aracocra can do like a dive yeah, attack so you swoop up in the air mm-hmm. and ah, give a cry to Thor uh, and distantly somewhere there's a rumble of thunder and you dive you shoot back down trident oh just one hand trident because I've got oh, shield it, oh you've yeah, got shield sorry <laughs> yeah yeah fatality I rolled a five oh, <laughs> so maybe I missed not. Okay. But I'm now in combat with him. Awkward. You are, so you land <laughs> next to him. Yeah. You used to yeah. Die! Die. Yeah. Yeah. So you do three point landing. <laughs> Stand up, Aquaman esque, with feathers. Okay. Um, I really wanted to hit me. Hoyak. Um, <laughs> using Arcana, can I try and remember how to do f- uh, Fireball? Yes, you may. This is a lower... Ro- it's a cantrip fireball, it isn't is it? It is a cantrip. Yeah. I rolled a 13. Um, f- it was going to be 15, 10. 15, so 17, you, 16. So you're fine. Okay, cool. All right, I will firebolt him. So okay. Make a range spell attack. Who are you firebolting? I am going to fireball the guy you're fighting in the back like a hero. <laughs> <laughs> this guy here. Yep. So you're going to go... <laughs> um... I only had special effects on the screen. Uh, 19. That's a hit. Cool. You plus and eight. they're in in like 20 years when oh, you're just three yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Plus eight. Going back amazing. over all the footage. <laughs> Can do that then um, out. What do I want to do? Uh, what's it do? Uh, Probably can already. Yeah. Come on, roll high. 
Two. Take two, that. <laughs> two points of damage. <laughs> okay. It hits him in the back. And you see this kind of flame erupt around. It's not, it's not massive. It's not like a thunder wave. You know, it's kind of like... Flame it, it wasn't kind of like a gout shoulder. of flame that I shot before. Uh, and uh, he's kind of like... Argh! He's vaguely distracted by it. But he does yeah. go to attack you. So here we go. 17. Is that your armor class? Mm-hmm. Okay. He misses. Damn it. Uh, uh, who else do we have? Let's have a look. We have... A, guard, uh, a harmonium guard here yep. next to Heskin. Mm-hmm. We'll have a little roll there. Heskin, what's your arm class? 13. Whoa! That's a hit. <laughs> uh, spear is... Mine's I was 30. too busy trying to look at any Mine's only 13. Okay. You ready? Yep. Take... Oh! Seven points of damage. <laughs> oh, my little cobalt little body. little spear, like... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, 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 He oh, smashes okay. your snout yeah, with a shield and yeah. stabs you with a pencil. 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 That's oh, all. Sure. Um, okay, there's any more. Dual wielding. Okay, this guy is going to move up to Echo and attack you. Arm class? Um, yes. Well, that is actually blank. <laughs> so I hit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wasn't sure what armor I had, so I hadn't added it up yet. Oh, we can call what armor would you like? Some light. Oh, medium, um, medium, medium, like medium, I said, leather, big hide. leather, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah, so which is... I think I might have really done 15 plus I think 2. It's, yeah. Plus what's, your dex? what's your dex? Uh, no, you can't so have seven. studded leather because it's metal. metal. Yeah, right. Unless you get funky studs. Hmm. Like obsidian. Hell's weapons. Maybe later. It's near the from, back, isn't it? Not right now. From Athas. Uh, it's somewhere weird. Okay, I'm going to assume you've got 17 arm class for now. Yep. Damn. I missed. Right. Who else got we it? Got? What? What? What did you want? Just leather or medium hide? Well, know, like hide, yeah. Whichever's hide. stronger of the two. Twelve plus dex. Okay. So Five, six. Oh! Oh no! Reinforcements. Yeah, got into combat advantage. with you. An advantage because there's two of them. What was the um? Yeah. What, sorry. What was the? Oh, oh no! Uh, you have to whatever your dex. If you're right next to each other, you don't get advice. You've got oh, to you be like it. flanking. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, it was twelve plus dex. Twelve plus 14. dex. Hide. 14, yeah. Hide is twelve plus dex. Okay. Um, so that's a hit. Uh, oh no. Eleven plus dex. But hide. Seven points of damage. Ow. Is a max of two on <laughs> your dex. <laughs> Leather is whatever your dex is. Yeah. So if you have exception. So why buy hide? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't have very good armor. You don't need it. You don't need it, really. Yes. Okay, so that's all of those guys. However, you see that there were some people Reinforcements over arriving. by the stage over here who were. Who we can't see because you're off the camera. Can't see. No, no, this guy's dead. Yeah, don't worry. They'll 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 catch up. They're over here somewhere. Oh, maybe they just have to be closer to you. Then. What? <laughs> Excellent. I don't like this. I'm too far away to do that away again. Damn it. <laughs> and you spread them out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not completely stupid. I may look it, but I am not it. Um, they kind of move forward and they're like, what the fuck's going on over here? These guys are fighting back. Come on, let's go get them. Um, uh, right. Uh, Heskin. Is angry. <laughs> oh, <whoa. laughs> Heskin is angry. He got stabbed. Yeah. Get him, Heskin. Blow my magical load here. <laughs> <laughs> Dissonant whispers. Whoa, whoa. Oh, this is good, this. <laughs> this is pretty powerful, isn't it? I like it. Yeah. So, yeah. So he smacked me to the floor. Yep. And then horrible magic words. Yeah. Uh, to make him feel incredibly bad about himself. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> my discordant melody. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. like, oh. <laughs> Again, the dark kind of mist comes out the end of your flute and like wraps up around his ears, and he's like, ah, no, I think I look good in my uniform. Ah. Wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. 13. No, 12. Well, I rolled a 4. Okay. So, 3d6 psychic damage. <laughs> so much. Ouch. Why would you add your sword? 6. 2. 6. 14. 14. Okay. Nice. He like, looks at you like that. Ah, 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 ah. His head explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Showering um, Attila in blood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
hands. That's why I wore the t shirt. <laughs> and I'm going to put one finger up in nostril and <laughs> snort blood out the other one. <laughs> nice, nice, yeah. His uh, headless corpse falls on you, but you kind of you kind of nudge it and roll out the way, and it kind of hits the deck. Uh, it's pretty horrific. Um, um, the modron behind you s- says, That was an interesting resonance. Huh? <laughs> and he looks around. I have a way out of here. We would be if good to see it. that. <laughs> he pulls out from his... A little, like, drawer opens on the side of his body. And he pulls out um, a series of rods. He kind of... They seem to be attached by some kind of cord. And at first you think he's starting to put up some sort of tent. <laughs> Um, but he like slots them all together and it turns into a large square about seven foot by seven foot and he's like I need a wall there's one right behind him a flat wall the the walls are all kind of rocky cavern Um, he's like "Uh," and that's that's your go Um, Attila you're vaguely aware of what's going on behind you. The modron seems to be slotting something together and Heskin's just brutally... You're like... <laughs> I shall look at Heskin. You are very impressive. There's... And then I shall charge the... Uh, yeah, I it's shall, fine, I've got this. I shall charge the... Uh... <laughs> you over there on your own? Yep. Oh, yeah, look. There's a nice line of uh, harmonium. There's only, there's only six there's of them. <laughs> there's, two there's only there. six but of them. But however, there's like a charge. <laughs> look. Uh, 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 25 feet. That's what you yeah, need yeah, for your... Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Through a table. Uh, um, oh, around the table. Oh, oh. That's right. <laughs> I don't think yeah. a table's oh, going to oh, stop oh, here. Oh, oh. Yeah, I've gone. Yep. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> On my charge, I will I will holster my pistol because I've got no shot left. Sure. Um, until level three, I can't also. <laughs> <laughs> I should draw my rapier. <laughs> yeah. Because that's kind of what you do. Dagger and rapier. Yep. And then I shall charge. Okay, cool. Right, so your head down. Yeah. Right, so this is just a move. Yeah. So you move into yeah. combat. And they just have to, because of the force of your yeah, yeah, yeah. presence, yeah. they have to roll. You then can then do your action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So just remind me of what they have to do. Strength saving throw, isn't it? I don't even know if I wrote that down. Do you barge everyone? Do I get knocked over as well? Uh, no, no, it's, no, no, no it's, 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 it's just one guy. Okay. Got the shield. Just a rugby tackle with this guy. Yeah. It's like a clothesline. <laughs> <laughs> okay, DC 14 saving throw. Strength saving throw. I rolled a two. Uh, we'll take these two d six bludgeoning damage. Bludgeoning. Yeah. Good and word. Being knocked prone. Okay. Two d six damage. Two d six damage. Two d six damage. Seven. Okay. I'm knocked prone. Uh, he's not prone. So can you so knock him he, over, please? Is he not backwards? Or just no, he just no, falls. Prone. Falls okay. in the spot. So can I can I finish my movement because I have movement thirty. Um, I think that's your yeah. I think, that's, I think like that's the force move. of the impact. Yeah. That's your move, uh, but you can do your other action. Well, unfortunately, he's lying on the floor, so the only person I can stab is him. He's prone. You get advantage, oh, okay. which means you get stealth, uh, sneak attack, sneak attack, I can sneak attack him, and and <laughs> <Just dagger him. laughs> I will just hit him. You can't charge forward in <laughs> someone. <laughs> Knock them prone. Sneak attack! <laughs> so, so, so sneak attack is like finding the the vital organs rather than... It's more... As you fall, you can see a little bit of a gap under his plate. Oh, <laughs> it's a bit of belly. Yeah, exactly. And you just I go, thought <laughs> that you'd have the dexterity and the speed to put your and... your rapier down on the floor underneath him before he fell. No, you threw it first. This is what you did. You threw your rapier across the floor and then you charged. And as it got behind him, you knocked him onto it. Right, so I rolled 14. You have advantage. Yes, I have yeah. advantage. That means I can re-roll it if I want to. I know, you can roll a you second. Two dice. Twice and take the higher dice. I've got something for it. Yeah. Uh, 15. 15. That is okay, so your attack bonus is? Uh, my attack bonus. Your rapier. So my rapier attack bonus is plus 4. Okay, so you got a 19. So I got 19. So you hit him. Uh, you, get, you get better if you get over 20. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, if you roll a natural 20, you do more damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. We've been playing Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay for like 
forever. So yeah, yeah. I've got Gil Boy in my hand. Oh yeah, fair enough. Takes up a lot of space. Fair enough. So I get D8 <laughs> plus two. And I've got an extra drive. D6. I've got an extra D6. <laughs> yeah. do yes, you do. For your yeah. Yeah, yeah. I probably don't need it, do I? It's pretty, I probably Does it, don't need it. it I don't well, need the damage. It's D8 yeah. and a D6. No, that inspiration die yeah. is on a D20. I was yeah. going to, but you told me I had to roll a natural 20. No, no, no. 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 Yeah, that's to, that's to do a crit. So, um, two and two, so that's four. Plus my... Uh, oh, yeah, that's... Yes. So yeah, that's plus, that. And an extra two, an extra okay. two for strength. So six damage. Six more damage. Okay. If As it's a if it's a rapier, you it'll can be on do... it'll be on deck rather than strength. Yeah, he's got, yeah he's got, same. He's got okay. plus two. It's all yeah. the same. Plus two. Uh, so you charge across the <laughs> picking up speed. Yeah. Hit him full on and he like falls backwards, hits the dirt and as he's about to lift his head up yeah. there is indeed a gap under his breastplate and your rapier boom, <laughs> sinks in true yeah. and he gurgles uh, 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 uh. I just do the accounts <laughs> uh, Get him. he's dead he's dead uh, <laughs> one day away from retirement oh, never told me to be like this is not cold <laughs> um, okay so uh, that was Attila Echo and Jophiel I just got stabbed. Yes. You should run away. I'm not keen on that. <laughs> it was that guy. You should point from away. the other side. I can't point from here. Yeah, this there you guy. go. Yes. This guy just stabbed me. Yes. Sweep okay. his legs. <laughs> Sweep the legs. Disengage, run away. <laughs> I would run away. Go for the face. <laughs> Says the, the face. Says the one who hides and just zaps people with magic. <laughs> 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 yeah. If you're not a tank, hide. Ow! And then, like, <laughs> and then, kind of disengage, and then, like, not fall over, but like sit on a chair and just kind of like, okay, okay, fine, fine. Okay, like put. Yeah, like, I'm okay. not. I'm not fine. I'm sit, I've, I've like kind of ducked to the side, sat on a chair. I'm just like, okay, okay, fine. fine. Cool. Uh, Joe Phil's going to do the opposite. <laughs> uh, and Joe Phil's going to turn. Uh, Step there and uh, yeah, javelin that that chappy over there. Divine favor mm-hmm. with a uh, a bonus action. Range self. Your prey empowers you with divine radiance until the spell ends. Your weapon attacks deal an extra one d four radiant damage on a hit. So javelin is plus five. Nineteen. Twenty four. That's a hit. Twenty six and one d four plus two. Oh, well, I mean, that's pretty good. Four, three, seven, nine damage. Good effort. Well done, John. <laughs> uh, and this javelin streaks across the courtyard, bright shining light coming off of it, and thunders into the guy's uh, shoulder, and he's like, Rah! blood pouring out of the wound, and he's like, Rah! um, Right, back around to the beginning. Quaff. You... Uh, you're, are you still fighting the guy? Yeah, yeah. you're still fighting the guy, aren't you? Yes, yeah. you are. Right, what are you going to do? Didn't die. I'm didn't going die. to. Um, you can defer your attack. Have you got shocking grasp? No. Ah. How far am I away from. How many. St- it's five foot per square. Yeah, so how far am, am I away How many from squares side? away are you? Well, I can't One, see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 55, 55 feet. feet. All right. So if um, you have a 60 foot range spell, it would hit. Yeah, but I'm in combat with somebody else. I That's know. not going to go very well. No. Um, but I'm going to do that anyway. I'm going to give the guy an attack of opportunity. Okay. Because I'm, I'd see him do it. Okay. <laughs> Wouldn't I? Yes. <laughs> yes, I would. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to... Jim wants to get but, hit. I know. He's you, trying really hard. That. You'll I'm, see. I'm, yeah. I, I want to take off and get to about... Just hover in the air. About here. Okay, so as you're leaving... Yeah. Attack of opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Natural 20. Oh, this okay. one sting. <laughs> Here we go. So he gets a d6, which is a 6, and then a 1. Plus 2, so 9 points of damage. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. He goes, yeah, as you uh, fly uh, up. Uh, Trust you in the, in the lower feathers. <laughs> <laughs> he has to make... In the nether feathers. <laughs> you don't want to get, get thrust there. <laughs> it's full of adrenaline. He thought he was going to blow up. Um, so he <laughs> yeah. has oh, to make a... Uh, He's going to get a lightning bolt through his butt. Yeah, because I saw him hit me, 
I forgot. I've lost my you can do now. like a reaction. Uh, yeah, but I need to know his saving throw. Uh, it is dex saving throw. Oh, okay. So he makes so a dex, dex saving, saving throw. throw. Against your spell DC? Uh, just a dex saving throw. Yeah. It'll be, It'll be your, your spell, spell DC. DC. Oh, yes. uh, 13. Uh, I got 8. 2d8 eight. Eight, then, please. Okay. <laughs> Do you need a d8? Uh, no, it's okay. I just roll this twice. Okay. Uh, 7 and 6. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay, so as you swoop up into the air, he goes, <laughs> he goes, ha <laughs> 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 His body crispifies and he drops to the floor. Yeah. His arms locked in some kind of vile rictus holding the smoking remains of his spear. Uh-huh. Where do you get to? Uh, I'm kind of floating yeah. above here. Okay. Uh, no, well, it's, 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 as far as I can get. How because far do you move? Get? Huh? What's your move when you're flying? 50. Okay. Cool. No, so you can get to here. Yeah, about there. Yeah. Um, and then I will cast... Uh, because I haven't used my action yet. Yep. I will cast... Um, what will I cast? Magic. I'm just going to do... Uh, Aspersions. <laughs> <laughs> this, Wild this, animations. This, this, yeah. this person's very injured, aren't they? What? This person. They yeah. Yes, they are very injured. Yeah. Then yes, I'm just yeah. going to do a, a cantrip, a sacred flame. Oh, It's <laughs> 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 just like... <laughs> I'm going to extinguish a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but they, they do get a deck saving throw. Okay, right. Okay. That's a pass. Oh, then I don't think they... Does it do nothing or does it do half damage? Any, yeah, I don't think... It's only a cantrip, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I don't think it's anything. Not like real magic. <laughs> so you go... Like real magic. And he goes... <laughs> <laughs> moves out of the way. Off. Yeah, it's just like... <laughs> <"Doom."> Sorry, <laughs> I didn't understand what happened then. Back to this for a second. Okay, right, so... Um, right. Anything, Jim? No, no, no it's okay. Huyak. I am gonna go. Hide under a table. And then go. So it's gone from like, I have to really try and figure out how to do magic to. That was awfully quick. Plus five. 23. On what? Um, I am ranged attack. Yeah, the firebolt thing. Okay, at who? That guy. The, the guy dude on the end. Okay. The guy that is closest yeah, to me. Ah, ah, shit! Ah, ah. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, what... Well, going near people with swords so really freaking that, hurts. That hits. Hey, don't do more than two. Technically, yes, four. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Your bolt. Um, he's just had like a small. Very small, sweet, cute little fire flame thrown at him. Uh, and then he sort of like, whoa, blocks that, turns around, like, ah, oh, and look, hits him in the face. And he drops to the floor, uh, some of his teeth kind of falling, sort of burnt to the ground. Um, right, it's my go. I'm going to get arrested. Okay, this one's going to come over. Uh, and No, he they actually says, stay where you are. Yep. You actually stabbed John in the head. I'm in the air. They can't get me. It's the guy on the floor dead. Yeah. Oh. Do you need more reinforcements, Pete? No, no, no that's fine. Over here. That's fine. <laughs> Pete, the, the ultimate necromancer. Yeah, yeah. He's, like, yeah, just like, he's back. Oh, yes, he was running away, wasn't he? He yeah. took some children away. Yeah, he's coming back. He's slightly... He's a dwarf. They're a dwarf. Okay. Yes. Uh, so, we're going to have a two on Jophiel. Let's have one roll. One hit. Four damage. Remember that. Uh, <laughs> two on uh, Attila. Attila Eight. with advantage. Eight. Eight. <laughs> okay, right. Okay, you guys need some armor. Right. So the first one hits you. Level two characters, Pete. You can buy like Joe Field's got eighteen arm class. Just fell out of the sky, Pete. Um, the second one missed you. <laughs> Rolled a two on, and a four. I'm, I'm a sh- I'm, I work on a ship. I know. I'm only. I'm only. <laughs> you can't wear metal armor. 
in case you fall off. You and can't make it You're in space. <laughs> I'm not hard. I just persuade people not to hit me. <laughs> just, ah, you don't want to... Ah! <laughs> you might uh, seven points of damage. Might fall off and drop. No, okay. wait in space. Right. <laughs> then we got... Uh, what else we got? Uh, that's Go it on. for now. That's it for now. Okay. Right. Heskin. Okay. Dodron, will the floor work? You're seven foot. Ah, and there's like a, you see a, ding, you hear a ding, there's ding. a light bulb. <laughs> there's a little light goes on, literally, on the edge of his uh, cube. And you hear like a little uh, bell ring inside his head. And he throws it onto the floor. Uh, from the uh, small drawer that's still open, he scoops out what looks like a hand of some strange dust. You don't know what, it's like a slightly silvery powder. And he throws it onto the floor. And... A portal opens up Ta-da. on the floor. Yeah. There. Uh, rippling with energy, and he says, This is a bit of a last resort. But as you sort of as he says that, you he looks over and you can see that a load of the harmonium guard from the rest of the courtyard are now kind of putting down injured children and people and sort of getting their weapons together and heading over towards where you are because there's a big fight going on with explosions and all kinds of stuff. So the rest of the courtyard seems to be now facing in your direction. Okay. I'm going to shout for the others. Attila, Rick, Joffiel. Quaff. Quaff. Echo. Way out! (laughs) Okay. Gesture. Okay. Right, so you try, right, you get everyone's attention, guys, and guys, I will stand next to the portal. Okay, but not jump through. Okay, uh, and uh, bardic inspiration, some people. <laughs> okay, who are you going to bardic inspiration? I'm going to bardic inspiration. Um, who needs the help from where I'm looking? I'm going to be like, <laughs> no, not the guy with no head. <laughs> Attila's already been inspired plenty by my Probably Joe Fuel, things. realistically. So, uh, Joe Fuel. Okay. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's a nice yeah. ascending one. Uplifting. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Okay, so uh, Joe Fuel's got a D6. Yes. Cool. Uh, Attila, um, so you hear Heskin from behind you saying, Way out! <laughs> So do what I do get a fr- do I get a free action being a thief to be able to disengage? Uh, that isn't that a higher level thing? Is that a level three? That's not level three thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just asking. Might be third level. Bonus <laughs> action. You can disengage. Bonus action. Yeah. Oh, or, yeah. Or, or, or yeah, I think it says a bonus action. You can disengage. Yeah, probably. I think action. it's higher level. Yeah, I think it's third level. Could you not just? Stop right now, you just abilities. grab him and just take him with you. <laughs> <laughs> you could do. <laughs> so much bigger than him. <laughs> I would give you advantage to that kind of role, but you might fail it. You could just disengage and run away. I know you can do it as a bonus action. Yeah, bonus action, disengage. I'm a thief, so I'm as a thief, starting at second level. Yeah. Second level. There yeah. you go. So I can disengage. Bonus action. You can disengage. Yeah. What do you? Where are you going? Well, I can only use disengage from one of them. Sure. But I assume you want to have your action for something else. Oh, yeah, kill the other one. <laughs> okay. So, Obviously, so you want to, like, slide this way? So, yeah, and then... Uh, no, no, no. So the guy with this the, the bow... Okay, I want to go in the right direction. You're going to go that way? The one that stabbed me. Okay. Yes. And then... Okay. Yeah, yeah, so sense. smooth. Well, no. Uh, Attila kind of does a, a mini cartwheel away, destroys a table on the way past, <laughs> <laughs> and ends up standing in front of the guy. He's like, what the fuck? And then you're like, ha ha. So, oh, sorry. So rapier. 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 Yeah. You are... T- <laughs> I can just I'll imagine do, you've got my, like a rapier my, on one of your fingers. Like, like, D6 bonus. Like, oh, I needed like... I needed you need like, like 18, 20. Didn't I? <laughs> what, what did it's you have? Yeah, I rolled like 7. It's fine. I'll okay. use it on the second one. Okay. With my dagger, uh, you can't do that. No, that's fine. No, your bonus action was oh, your. Uh, my bonus action was, was to yeah, disengage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You only get one I, bonus that's action. That's fine. Okay, cool. I have moved around. <laughs> Trashed a table Trashed and the table. <laughs> wafted yeah. your rapier in his face. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Echo and Jofiel. 
Joe Fiel says, Disengage! <laughs> Get to the gate! I will pr- I will defend you! <laughs> just so generally. Like, like, armor 17. <laughs> yeah, and just like, start stabbing the uh, the ones in front of Yeah, so uh, Joe Fiel is here and fighting these two here. So, uh, gonna, gonna, yeah, stab one of them. No, missed. Ha ha! Are there any other random parties floating around, or have they all been like, as you sort? You're sort of free from a bit of the melee, so you kind of. Well, I'm turn, sat at a table at the you're moment. Sat at a table, and you turn around, and you can see the rest of the courtyard. Now that you guys have fought back and done magic and spells and all kinds of stuff, mm. you have so drawn across the way. quite. Uh, the attention of everybody. I'm just saying that they were like... And um, uh, <laughs> Bria Tomei is standing there with a little smile on her face. Uh, and the captain next to her is going, Get the fuck! <laughs> and all of the seem to be moving towards you, but they've got a... There's that large um, star X-shaped stage between you and them. If you remember last time where they were mm. doing their tribal dancing. Uh, and they have to kind of clamber over it or run around it. So you have, like, a few rounds... Is there anything on this I'd... table? Like discarded tankards? Or yeah, there's a couple of tankards that are just sitting there half full or half it? empty, up to you. So I'm going to take one and like raise it in salute at Bria and then offer the dwarf a drink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're going to offer him a drink. Yeah, so I'm going to you know, raise it to, to toast her oh, yeah. and then he's over there and be yeah. like, oh, join me for a drink. He's like, what? <laughs> Genuinely confused. Hey, look, I'm a distraction. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's he is. Um, well, they told me to stay here, so you make know. Make a performance roll. <laughs> ah, this isn't my job. <laughs> yeah, mm, Eleven plus mm, nothing. <laughs> okay. You go, hey, and he's like, what? And carry, he's sort of carrying on on what he's doing. Yeah, I probably look a little bit out of place. Like, <laughs> yeah, everyone's yeah, having a big like old fight, and I'm just there. like, yeah. cheers. Yeah. Okay. Is that your round? Um, well, it was going to be, but he declined me. So He declined you. So um, what's he want to do? do? <laughs> like, is he kind of still just kind of coming past and... Just yeah, he me? seems to be heading over to the big bloody hippo. Okay, well, in which case, I'll have, like, saluted Bria, and yeah. then if he won't join me for a drink, then maybe I'll just take it with me, and I'll go and... Okay. Yeah. Go in that direction. Uh-huh. <laughs> Bria gives you a nod. But there's a slight serious mm. look in her eye. Um and uh, you you move away. Move your move your uh, where are you going? It's kind of this way. Not maybe directly that yeah, why not? I'll go I'll go here. Oh damn it. <laughs> oh like it. Right. Balls. Um, oh. Totally didn't ruin one. Have you had an action? No. Do you want to have an action? I could. You could. You could like hit that dude. I haven't hit anyone yet. No, you haven't hit him a drink. Tap, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you, you can do it if you want. Distract him. Yeah, why not? Okay. You know, I could have lined it up, but now uh, I can't. So you uh, <laughs> tap him on the shoulder <laughs> and yeah. do make a, a uh, melee attack roll yeah. to because uh, you know people aren't just like okay. standing yeah. still going. Seventeen. <laughs> okay. Yes. Plus like whatever. Yeah. So you kind of go, ha ha. Just kind of. Uh, yeah. And he turns around. and He's like, huh? Don't he's you like, just stay over there? And I'm like, what? <laughs> Joe jo feels like ha ha from behind, um, but missed. Um, so background to the beginning. Quaff, mm-hmm. what uh, you doing? I'm going to. Who are some people who are not? I'm going to fly above. That Heskin has shouted to everyone. Yes, Quick, two. we have a way out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you have a way out. Yeah, yeah, just I, yeah, I can go away. whenever. Yeah, but, but I, I need to try everyone your out. friends. What's casting spells into combat like? As what kind of spell are you talking about? Guiding Bolt. It's like a one single target. That's fine. Yeah. Doesn't, yeah, that, do that. doesn't that give it whoever gives people hits advantage? It next. Yeah. 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 So it also I'll does do... a lot of damage. So yeah, I know. So like basically, I'm going to move out and fly kind of just above the portal area. Okay, yeah. So but, put him over the portal. Uh, but fire down into the people, like fighting. 
the, yeah. Yeah, yeah, one of those. The two. one that's turned around to have a drink with Echo, or the one that's fighting what? Joe Fiel. You can probably see the one that's fighting Echo easier because Joe Fiel's in the way of the other one. Okay. Whereas then. you're shooting the other one in the back. I'm not in a fight. Let's... What are you talking about? Not in a fight. You know, <laughs> let's it's turned around one. and. So do I have to roll to hit or something, or do I just cast? To make it a in? spell, I believe. Spell read attack, the read the thing. It's a okay. spell attack, ranged spell attack. No way. I don't know. I never we need used to get the cleric. We need to get the cleric cards, don't we? <coughs> yeah, we could do with some cleric cards. You could do with some rogue cards with the level that you get them. Like, <laughs> hey, spell I was up. right. I was last. <laughs> yeah. On that one. On that one. They have level the level two. On the back. They do. So they do. Zero. What, what class oh, is that one? Nice one. This is Guiding bolts. Yeah. Yeah. Make a range spell, spell attack. attack. I get dual. How do I make a range spell attack? I have advantage if I'm in single combat. I know. I know. The whole campaign we stand in the same. Yeah. Forever. So roll. Do you get advantage? I'm in the back. I don't know how that works. No. No. All right, so roll. I'm just going to roll a dice. I rolled Something a happens. fifteen, so twenty. Yeah. So twenty then. That's a hit. Yay! Yay! Four d six. Four d six. Whoa! It's pretty angry. This is a pretty good spell, guarding bolt. And basically, if any, if you don't kill great. him, not great. Ten, thirteen, you will get advantage to hit this person like oh. glowing with radiant 13. energy. Thirteen. Oh yeah. So so you go, Pop. boom, and the power of Thor. Flows through your trident, and this guiding bolt shoots. Oh yeah, I do it with the trident across. <laughs> yeah, it's like the three points coalesce, like, like Thundercats, <laughs> <laughs> and blows a hole through his body. And I move, and you step out of the way. <laughs> no, you just get covered. <laughs> you do the no. The tabaxi's too. Live for that, yeah. just goes. You just move enough to yeah. the side, yeah. uh, but it's kind of the, like a foot circular area of the front of his chest is the exit wound of this guiding bolt, nice. and he just boom, hits the hits and the I'm, deck. And I'm at advantage to hit that corpse now. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> Yay! Yay! I'll hit him. <laughs> yeah, he's got an class of one. Whoa! <laughs> okay, uh, so that's quite Kriak. And you know, can I remember how to do magic missile? You have to. That's a fifteen. That one. No. no okay. I can't. Um, you can do a fireball if you want. I can do a fireball. So. Or you I, can do a crossbow. I'm going to kind of move roughly towards the portal a bit. You can move six squares. And. Do we work here? I'm going to move the captain's body, the sergeant's body. Yeah. Yeah, about that. <laughs> and then I'm going to tuck a fireball at him. No, we just. Uh, 1823. Uh, who? Um, that guy. Which one? S- the one fighting Joe Field? Oh, okay. Cool. The one fighting Yep. Guy. Yep. Actually, no, he's got the, the one in front of the hippo. Okay. You're shooting through the crowd and over the table and past the giant hippo towards the guy. Seven. Seven points of damage. You didn't. You haven't hit this guy yet, have you? No. no. Okay. Okay. Uh, the fire. <laughs> A little firebolt shoots past you and hits this hits this guy in front of you, and he's like, "Whoa!" I assume it was Hesky. <laughs> yeah, it's probably <laughs> probably was. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, next is their go. So we're going to have this one attacking Jofiel at disadvantage if he's no, 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 doesn't, okay. doesn't, doesn't worry about that. Missed anyway. Uh, this one attacking Attila. Is the other one going to move up? Missed. Okay. Yep. This one is then going to move up. One, two, three, four, five, six. And attack with advantage against Attila. Oh, I rolled a 17, so that's a hit. Not. That is six points of damage. Nope. Uh, and then the dwarf. Having to drink after all? No. Picks up a bit a flag and uh, a tankard on the way, yeah, <laughs> and has a has a swift drink. Uh, and what you'll what you'll see is there's like a a horde of about there's, there's twenty or thirty way. other soldiers now approaching the edge of the the uh, sort of approximate oh, battle map area. Right? Yeah, that kind of thing, so like, <laughs> sort of over there. We'll be fine. They okay. just need to bunch up. <laughs> I've got a spell. Dice. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Oh, I was nearly dead. Three more burning hands. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, um, right. So I've only used one. We're back round to Hesky. Hesky. So two. As you're standing there, sorcerer points that I can You sensed that, that the ambient temperature has dropped, and as you look down at this kind of strange frame, 
it looks like it's it's deteriorating. Mm. Um, but there is an icy frost growing out of the gate across the the lip of this metal these metal poles that have been put together in this you know you can see now that there's like a like sort of azure blue glowing runes dotted around them uh, but it all seems to be sort of rusting rapidly or falling apart yeah get a shout guys you have to go now the portal's collapsing and oh, Affirmative, says um, Grendon. Thanks, Grendon. Alpha 4. And he jumps through the portal. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> you have to go. Because it's your turn, you'll have to go. Uh, everyone looks like they're in trouble. You'll just have to go. Uh, well, no, you're close en- aren't you close enough that you could do an attack and it, then move... Oh, no, you'd have goes, to go. It's his turn. Yeah. You'll have to go. Yeah. <sighs> okay, yeah. Heskin... Arms and shoulders and falls backwards through the portal. <laughs> okay, you fall backwards through the portal. And for a moment, you have a weird sense of vertigo. Because the portal you come through is upright. And you actually end up just walking backwards. You thought you were going to fall, but you're actually just walking backwards. It is suddenly really cold. You're surrounded by a blue light. And as you turn around, you see you're in an icy cavern. Uh, a strange sort of corridor that's twisting and turning ahead of you. Uh, sorry, behind you, and in front of you there is a f- uh, uh, an iron surface that has been built um, with a square portal in it. And there's a very frosted glass image of the sky <laughs> of... And you can kind of see, like, Quaff over there, like, flapping around above. Um, and it's really weird, because you're like, it's the angles are wrong, and that's up, and that's down, and that's the wrong way. Ugh! And you're like, Make a con uh, save, uh, DC 5, just to make sure you don't feel... Exor- uh, you don't take a level of yeah, exhaustion. 13. Okay, so you're fine. You, just because of the switch of gravity, you're not you're not used to that. Yeah. Um, but you turn around and you can see uh, Grendon Alpha 4 is standing there, and he's just like, says, this way to the hub. Can and we wait for my friends? <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, he's no, like... Yeah. End. What? <laughs> he doesn't go anywhere, he just... Yeah. He just points. Um, right back in uh, sigil, Attila. Um, I shall, um, I shall put put my foot on a stool, uh, make some um, amazing athletic skill roll, a uh, roll, yeah, over the table. Okay. And and um, the table you just destroyed. And disengage. <laughs> I thought I'd destroy no. another one. Oh yeah, it was the other one, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, sorry. And uh, roll across the table <laughs> in a very skillful manner. Okay. And flick one of the other stools back at them as I <laughs> leap, leap through the portal as if it was like a pool of water. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like hippo diving in a pond. Yeah. Okay. Right. So you dis diseng- you so you're going to disengage. Yes. Let's have an athletics. Act- Athletics or acrobatics? It's up to you. Well, we'll definitely acrobatics go with... for the kung fu yeah. flip we'll thing. Yeah, we'll I think definitely so. Definitely go with Acro... athletics. Okay. <laughs> because I have. <laughs> okay. Fine. Uh, I mean, it will just be distracting. It won't actually be any kind uh, of. So attack. nineteen. Okay. Yes. Wow. Yes. So you step away from him. Ha ha! Like wiggling you your rapier slightly. I, I step onto the stool. You step onto the stool. Yeah. Almost <laughs> balletic. The stool collapses. Yeah. <laughs> So you roll across the table, which collapses, and you flick a chair at him, uh, which which like does startle him. But instead of you're like pouncing off of the table as you planned, you kind of stand up, <laughs> dust yourself off briefly, and then leap into the leap into the portal. It's a bit of a dis- dis- but, like, that's yeah, Well, way. you're a seven foot hippo, yeah. you know. You take a little run and jump. But you jump through the portal, and Eskin, as you're, you're like, yeah, okay, uh, we'll wait for my friends. friends. Boom! You you haven't done lots of planner travel, or portal travel. Normally, what happens is when you step through a portal, it's a good idea to like step to the left or the right. (laughs) Only fragging is a big problem. (laughs) You don't know about that. So uh, you hear a whoa as. uh, Attila <laughs> comes flying through. Make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> or take uh, 1d4 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, that's not very reflective. Oh, I got a 5. What was that? Oh, 1d4? 1d4 points of bludgeoning damage. 1. 
So as the <laughs> Attila, as you jump you. through, it looks like you're diving uh, downwards, and then suddenly you're flying along a corridor, <laughs> and you knock Heskin out of the way, boom, uh, and you bash into a, um, a kind of icy outcropping, and you realise you're in this kind of strange glacial tunnel okay. uh, ahead of you with a flat floor about these glacial walls. I should roll out the way. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Echo and Jophiel. Um, what's, well, what's she doing? Because she's still fighting someone. She's going to go... Uh, well, you're the only one there, so she's going to say, Go, Echo, go! Mm, do I don't want to move through his space. Or you have to disengage to... You can use your action to disengage cool. and then move. Well, I'm well within range because I have yeah. 30 yeah. plus yeah. whatever. So. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I will make a space around him and then jump through. Yeah, you don't, if you disengage, you can literally just step away in any direction you yep. want. And done. Okay, so delicately, the tabaxi steps through the portal. The floor is cold. It is icy here. Um, nice. But it's a refreshing change for you and a different natural environment. That you're suddenly surrounded by. Um, Heskin is kind of tumbled on the floor. <laughs> Attila is picking himself up and straightening his uniform. Uh, and the Modron, uh, Grindon Elf and Four, is kind of standing. I'm gonna... uh, he's now a bit further <laughs> down the corridor. <laughs> so and he's kind of looking a bit quizzical. On coming through, I will have step through and just keep walking. Okay. Um, like, and style it out. It, well, yeah. But just make sure that I'm not stood where... <laughs> People are going to come through because okay, Joe sure. feels right behind me. Yeah, yeah. So Joe feels. Joe feels going to disengage. Yeah, yeah. She's like, everyone get through the. Mm-hmm. She's shouting, everyone get through the portal, uh, and she disengages and jumps, jumps, just like jumps backwards <laughs> through the portal uh, and ends up sliding across the icy floor, feet first, backwards uh, down the down the corridor, slightly, uh, slightly embarrassed, but no I'm with damage. The bird. Okay. Dive! Uh, Jofio, right. Quaff. You're right by the edge of the portal as well, aren't you? Yeah, I'm right next to you. Were you, were you heading that way? You've if, just moved in that direction. I was kind of moving towards it while throwing firebolts. I just wonder if I, should, if I could give you a hand <laughs> and get you through <laughs> on my turn. Like a dive attack? <laughs> yeah, but just like more of a, more of a dive hoist. <laughs> dive hoist. Uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll try that. I'll shout out that I'm 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 going to do it. I say, say, what what? How how tall are you? How heavy are you? <laughs> um, I'm about six foot tall, but I'm not. He's he's a half. If you swoop, so he's gonna be you're not going to. It's you know, and you're kind of going that way anyway. Yeah. Just like, Come on, I'll take you through and like swoosh. go to a soup down and. Mm. Pull you through with me. Make a perception roll. That'll be the third portal you've been through in the last like twenty four hours. It's getting weird. <laughs> <laughs> for, for, weird for, sorry, for, weird. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Nope. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> um, so he does this. Can I use my action? Uh, he goes before you. So unless he says he holds his action until you've done yours. Oh. oh. You want to fire another fireball? While he's carrying me through okay, the portal, do it. Just do it. Go Why not? Why not? It's cool. Um, seventeen. Ooh, who are you shooting at? Um, the wounded one. It's, yeah, unfortunately, their uh, armor class is eighteen. Balls. So you fire your last firebolt as the Aracocra takes you through the portal, and it bounces off uh, his shield, uh, and you pass through into. The coldest place you have ever experienced in your life. <laughs> Suddenly, the world around you is blue. Not a colour you're very familiar with as well from surroundings. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have seen it. And you, it's, you are suddenly in a glacial tunnel. You manage to get your bearings just as you come through um, and don't crash into everyone in the corridor. But I was you wondering, fly... if I was dragging another person through, would I have disrupted the edges of the portal on the way and well, going to close it? What you didn't... You, Yes, but <laughs> your perception role was to see if you saw what was happening to the edges of oh, the right, portal okay. as you made your way through. But as you come through, uh, you can see everyone kind of in disarray or not. You know, Tabaxi kind of looking pretty cool. Uh, and you come through, Joe feels picking herself up, uh, and the Modron, uh, Grendon Alpha 4, is there and says, 
that was quite an expensive exit. I am probably yeah, just will no longer shivering. be giving you 50 gold pieces to get me to the Hall of Records. I think you owe me now. It's like, why? We, we, otherwise you would have been taken anyway. <laughs> you would have been taken by the harmonium. Mm. True. Well, Unless... I might not have. <laughs> by their new faction. Mm. What new faction? I, I don't think they have named themselves yet, but some of them are working with mercy killers, as Bria told us. Mm -hmm. These people are not to be reasoned with. But that gate was an expensive trick to play. As you're standing there, the portal behind you <laughs> the <man and> drive. <laughs> coalesces <laughs> and goes. Um, and there is just a blank iron wall behind you with uh, a strange frame built in. This is our emergency exit from Sigil. Follow me to the hub. We can get to the Hall of Records from here. Mm. Right. Okay. Yeah. Shivering like anything. So you are, I mean, you are all genuinely quite cold. It is, you know, you are on the quasi-elemental plane of ice. Yeah, so you have gone to another plane of existence again, Kriak. Uh, and the Modron is saying, um, yes. How far is it? Not far. There are some branching corridors leading to other emergency exits, but we have a hub here that allows us to get back to in and out of Sigil from different places. And in the odd case, from an emergency location. I like your friend here, and I felt it would be sad if he died. Therefore, I felt it necessary to help you all escape. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you. Is there anything flammable around? You're in an ice cavern. Yeah, I know. I was just wondering no. if there's like bits of wood or chairs no, or something. No, you're literally just in a icy tunnel. All right. And he starts walking as he's talking and leads you through these kind of icy tunnels. Uh, and various other ones sort of join onto. I shall, I shall light a torch. Okay. You light a torch. I've lit a torch. Yep. I'm just going to cast light. <laughs> okay. Is, oh, is it dark down here? It's fairly dark. There's a slight blue glow. Oh, I can see the it. The portal dark, was anyway. kind of lighting things. But now there's a torch and a light and all this kind of stuff. You're kind of... Yeah, immediately <laughs> regret not bringing the blanket. <laughs> you're, you can hold the torch, uh, says Joe Fiel. In the dark. <laughs> Keeps you warm. <laughs> I'll just be holding it really, <laughs> really close. close yeah. <laughs> um, and lots of other tunnels seem to join your tunnel, but he doesn't seem to be interested in any of them just keeps going and they all kind of coalesce and this, the tunnel gets a bit wider and a bit wider and a bit wider and then eventually you get into a, a chamber that you can see is being carved or sort of a natural cavern that's been finished off as it were um, and uh, around the, the wall where very smooth surfaces have been created um, squares have been carved in and uh, metallic uh, surrounds like frames have been put in to to the icy wall um and uh he stops for a moment and does his little uh violin cabinet if we wish to attend the hall of records please join me through portal 12. and he kind of gestures over to the side and you, there are a lot of these portals around it's a fairly big chamber there's a lot of these portals dotted around <clears throat> for those of you from Sigil, this is probably more impressive to those who weren't. Because you're like, oh, okay, we've started seeing portals. Portals must be everywhere. Whereas this is like some kind of created chamber, which is like a nexus of little mm -hmm. uh, passageways. Um, and he says, yes, I am gathering information for the march, and I think you will be useful. I need your help in figuring out why your friend is here. That is what I've been tasked with. If you'll join me at the Hall of Records, I will still <coughs> fund you. But I need your assistance. Um, and he pulls out of his pocket a small emerald, which, as he holds it up, you think, that must be pretty expensive. Uh, and he walks over and he touches the, the wall in this portal. And you can see now that there's like a small... Like
like impression or divot where obviously he's supposed to touch it. As he touches it, and pulls it away, the, a ripple expands out from that space until it fills the frame. Uh, and after a little while, it turns into this kind of frosted glass effect you've had before. And you can see um, a, uh, a sort of a chamber beyond. It looks like it's full of bookshelves. Um, and he says, please join me. I need your assistance. And we'll end it there. <gasps> Before cool. I could cast Cure Wounds on myself. Okay. <laughs> we can do that in the All right, in the Burning downtime. hands on everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Books. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be warm. <laughs> cool. Okay. Well, thanks everyone. And thank you everyone for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Um, please don't forget to go and check out all of our social media links below. Please check out our other shows. Please check out our Discord. Uh, and please also, please help support the channel. Check out the Patreon. Um, we're giving a load of away, giving away a load of free cool stuff. Maps, adventures, role-playing games. And the bottom level pledge is only... One, one dollar a month. Which I didn't well, realise. It's one dollar plus VAT. Mm. So it's one twenty, which is like... A quid uh, a month. And for that, you'll get dungeon theme character sheets, adventure locations, maps, podcast, loads of stuff. Competitions. Competitions. All kinds of things. So please go and check that out. Also, we give 10% of everything to Diabetes UK. Um, and also check out Thornless Rose. They're doing really cool stuff, really cool gear. We've got some of it in the studio and we get to show it off, which is really cool. Uh, and I'm sure you guys will love all their dice trays and dice bags and everything like that. So please go and check that as well. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you in two weeks for more uh, The Dark of the Cage. Bye-bye.